Good morning, everyone. How are you? I'm going to preface today with if you hear meows in the background. Uh, Isis has been having a rough time as of late, and she's very vocal about it. I'll tell you more about it later. But let's get started with our hellos for today. So today's question of the day is, what is the one color and technique you've always wanted to learn? Kara, good morning. Megan, good morning. Don, good morning. Lynn, good morning. Let's see. Carol, hello. Let's see. Proper blending for like pencils or paints or what kind of... <laughs> also, we have the, the paint cam again today. Hang on. I'm going to put her out of the office real quick because she's like rubbing all over. Pretty sure she's had a lot of spoiling lately so she's pretty sure she's got the run of the house uh, <laughs> so let's see all right where were we uh ch -ch -ch -ch. let's see kathleen hello oh yes oh, morning time's always a good time to check points i know a lot of you are getting close and actually we have uh, a couple new things up on the board today i'll show you in a bit evelyn hi evelyn how are you feeling Let's see, Della, hello. Cece, good morning. Background skin coloring. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, let's see. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Uh, Della, I don't miss anyone. Kara, good morning. Yep, for pencils. Yeah. Watercolors, although I've tried. And found you know what, Ev? Actually, you're not, you're not alone in that. Like, I've been doing this, okay? But I've really, ever since I got, like, this tiny little travel one, you just redeemed a bead. Did you redeem a square first? So one of the rules is, is because it's gonna, it's gonna be too hard for me to keep track of all of the accessories that everyone does. So one of the rules is that you have to have a square before you redeem, uh, before you redeem, hang on, look, um, before you redeem any of the add-ons, because otherwise it's gonna be nearly impossible for me to keep track of everything. So um, I can just hold it there for you now or later after stream, I can go ahead and uh, and refund it. But but yeah, so it has to be square first, Ooh, bump that again, square first, then the add-ons. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, right, so I have been toying with the idea, like I really want to watercolor more. Um, and so I started, I have these books that I got from Arteza, which are like super cute and perfect. Now, please do not judge this, this painting I was working on, uh, based on what the stickers will look like this month, because this is not it. I was just toying with it and trying to figure out layering. And I'm just going to tell you right now, it was not a success. Like I was in a funky mood yesterday and I was too distracted. Um, so yeah, pudgy little terrifying bird on a non branch. <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna open the window real quick because the fan is in the other room and it feels warm here. It's actually only like 50 degrees outside. However, there is construction outside, so if it gets too loud, please let me know. Feeling much better, five and a half weeks into an eight week recovery. All good, I'm so glad. Good morning, Vicki. All right, well, let's go ahead and dive right in. <laughs> Thanks. Well, the sticker will look a lot better. Uh, my hope, my hope was to use like the watercolor sticker for it, but I think I need to, it's a work in progress. I've got, I've got a few more days till the end of the month and I've been working, trying to get the designs just right. Hi, Anna. Learn how to use Lumis. Oh, you pressed it by accident. I got you. I got you. No worries. No worries. Let's see. Question of the day. Backgrounds. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, and I was said I was going to show you. Oh, thanks, Don. What is today? Today is, I don't know what today's is. I, oddly enough, I put it away. <laughs> Say oddly enough, because I never put it away. Anyway, let's flip this over. See, the mic is right in there. All right. But my example square has friends now. Okay, so that one's Renee's. And this one, this big one is gonna take up a good chunk, but this is for the 50 plus uh, for the donations for the charity stream. Um, update on the charity stream, if you haven't seen it in the community tab, uh, we've been able to get a few things and we ordered the pencils and books. Right now there's some sort of like festival or something going on in the village, which means that a lot of people not from there swarms the town and it's not super safe to be going around to uh, different shops and everything and getting all the things. So our goal is to have them um, have everything to them by mid April. 
that's the goal. That is that is the current update. And as things are happening, um, if you're ever curious about the updates, it's all going to be in the community tab. But yeah, by by mid April is when they should have everything. But it's super exciting. All right, let's see. Who else am I missing? Lurking for thirty minutes sounds good. Let's see, Callie. Hello. All right. Well, let's go ahead, switch this on over and get started on this. So we have our little friendly paint cam here. I know it's silly because we have like paint here, but then we have paint up here as well. Uh, when I zoom in, you won't see this portion of me more. And this little cam will allow you to still see what we are doing on our palette. So yeah, yeah, Ev's been, Ev's been resting up, which is good. You should be resting up. All right, let's slide this over here. We're gonna move this up so you guys can see it. And I know I canceled uh, Friday's stream, but it was just, I wasn't feeling great. It was one of those days. I don't know, man. I think time is finally catching up with me here. <laughs> oh, sounds good, Marcy. Uh, eat a cookie when you're done. I don't know, do they do cookies still? It's been, it's been a little bit since I've done it. Okay, so if you were not here for the first couple of parts, we are working in which one is it? Worlds Within Worlds by Kirby Roseanne. And we are doing watercolor on these little nesting dolls. So everything is here is stuff that we've done beforehand. Always, exactly. Hi, Renee. Oh, Renee, did you see? Ta -da! Actually, here, why don't I go ahead and pop them down and then I'll put them back up here. Excuse me, sorry, I don't usually <laughs> try to put my back to stream. Okay, Ooh, bumped that. Okay, let's switch it back over to there. Or which one was it? This one, there it is. <laughs> I got too many. Uh, so this one is, ah, Renee's got her name and it's so sparkly. Here, it's a little dark. There we go. It's so sparkly. And uh, since everybody's starting to redeem, I also made sure I got all the beads sorted yesterday. Sorry, I'm trying to move, to, move stuff to get to the box. Um, I got all the beads sorted yesterday and put in here. And so we are going to be putting these on the site as well so that everybody can make sure they get the beads uh, that they want because some of these are not listed up there yet, right? It's so sparkly. So we've got loads of different ones. I added all the ones that Renee sent. So we have loads of little bunny and Easter and carrot and look at the little strawberry bunny. So I have them all sorted in here and I'm gonna get these all put up on the on the site. There's a lot of them that <laughs> I like. Sounds good, Brooke. And then there's these other ones as well. So there's gonna be loads of options for add-ons. So as you are redeeming, uh, yeah, they can get them set aside. and. So some of these, some of these, there's not like duplicates of them. Like some of these, like I saw them at Hobby Lobby and they were on clearance and I'm like, uh, yeah. So we have like a little robot, some like faux opal earrings. We got fish, we got all kinds of stuff. And it all still needs to go up on the website. So I'll get that there. So that's Renee. So purdy purdy, you got some silver. And then this one is for the stream. So some of these were anonymous. So, um, because I can see on my end what the actual names are. Uh, we privately messaged and said, what do you want to put instead, instead of name, if they want to rena remain anonymous. So we have some names, we have little, little sayings. And then this, look at how pretty that is. It's like a, um, a holographic, could be holographic. It changes color based on what its background is. So I want to do this color vinyl again, except do it on a uh, purple background and see how pretty that is. So the main colors that we have, for the quilt are the green and the purple, which you guys have seen. See, these were the test ones for some of the vinyls. And then, and we may end up putting names on it if we need to, and we have more uh, than I anticipated. We also have these here. So this is gonna be the colors of the quilt. We're going for kind of like green and purple. And then of course we've got all the charms and everything to go with it. But I'm getting more excited because we're getting close to lots of redemptions and everything. We've already got, ones to add up on the wall. So anyway, these will all be as we get, hi, Maylin, and if I missed anyone in, uh, here, I apologize. As we fill this board, we're just gonna add more and more, and I may change like how they're arranged so that we can fit everything on them. Um, but yes, so very, very awesome. We're starting to build that up. Okay, now I'm gonna scooch in without messing 
messing up this camera. Here we go. <laughs> You're good, Ev. Uh, how do I redeem your square? So yeah, Josephine, you are close. Oh, actually, yeah, you could get the 3,500 one. So go ahead and type in exclamation point loyalty. If you type in exclamation point loyalty, then the link will come up, which will take you to the loyalty store where you will see the options for redeeming squares. There's two options for squares available. There is the hand stitched one, and then there is the vinyl one. And then you'll uh, there will be a spot for you to put the name that you want on it. There we go. All right, well, let's go ahead and dive right in. We're going to use a uh, Hobby Lobby brand Fine Touch number six. And I just kind of want to start by getting a lot of this color kind of in the flowers and everything. So let's do, let's do, I kind of want to do red for these ones. So let's do that. We've already got some red that we used. Go ahead and zoom in here. Sure, we are. You know what? I'm actually gonna move this camera over because it's gonna work better for the position of the book to have it over here. There we go, that's better. There we go. Oh, awesome, Ev! Awesome. Elise, hello. Okay, let's go ahead. We're gonna get some of that red that we already mixed. And we are just going to do our first layer of watercolor here. Because it's interesting, I've been working on um, some acrylic paintings for decor around the house. And I think my issue with that bird when I was doing it is that I wanted to layer the watercolors like I would layer the acrylics, which it just does not work that way. So I need to like rethink how I'm doing it. Yeah, but swatching is good, swatching is good. Um, I spoke with, well, actually we're kind of still in talks, uh, Claire, Barbara, and Suzanne and I, we want to do another um, challenge stream. And so we are in talks for finding, uh, finding dates that work for everyone. So keep an eye out for that. Kind of hoping we'll be able to do it um, in April, which would be really cool. Thanks, Don. Um, so that would be awesome. But yeah, Isis, so this week um, she was... I won't go into details because I'm sure you guys don't want to know. But anyway, she was just having some issues and we had to take her uh, to the vet. And while the medicine that they gave her there, two of them were medicines that she had before. Which, by the way, let me know how the construction is. I know I said it earlier, but they're really pounding away out there. Misty effect with color pencils. Ooh, yeah. Ah, uh, thanks, Josephine. Um, but one of the medicine, because it was a brand new vet, you know, because we hadn't gotten a new vet set up with the cats yet. And so, you know, we asked... Some people that we know already are like, hey, what's the best vet around here to take them to? And they told us, and we took them there. Um, and so they gave her this pain medicine, and I cannot remember the name of it now. Uh, but they gave her this pain medicine that is basically, <laughs> be she's going to be pretty uh, pretty dopey for, for, as it turns out, like four days. Did not know it was going to last that long. But Steve and I were like really concerned about her because like, you know, if you go to the zoo and you see an animal in there and they're just pacing back and forth, that's like what she was doing. Like she's 19 years old. All she ever does is sleep. So to see her not being able to settle and just pacing back and forth, I was like, oh my gosh, like her pupils were huge. She wasn't eating. And I'm just like telling Steve, like the issue that she had, she's had in the past, but has never acted like this before. And so I told Steve, I was just like, what did they give her? So we went through each of the medicines, like one by one. Like they told us what, what they were giving her. And actually, Steve, I wasn't there. Steve was there when he took her because I had to stay with the kids. But anyway, they told us what they were going to do. But I guess we just didn't even really think about it. So I, I called our old vet to say, hey, you know, these are the medicines the new vet has given her. Has she had these before? And there was, she'd had all of them, but the one that they gave her. And it was supposed to be a pain medicine and everything. So I called them, um, I couldn't get, you know, I couldn't do it Sunday because they were closed. So I called them the first thing Monday when they opened, I was like, hey, she's acting pretty loopy. Like, is, there, is this is this normal? They're like, oh yeah, it's going to last about four days. I'm like, well, that would have been nice to know. She's better now. She is better now. Um, but so I, I will say, because at first I was just like, oh my gosh, I never want to go back to this bed again, yada, yada. 
But when I let them know my concerns, first of all, they knew right away which medicine it was that was causing her to act this way. But he said, normally what happens is the pets might get like really sleepy or be really cuddly or relaxed. But I don't know if she had anxiety or what, but she was just pacing all over the place. And it was like for two or three days, she was just like not herself. And I told Steve, I was like, she's 19 years old. Like, I'm concerned. What if this is like too hard on her heart? We're going to do a little bit of blue on these ones. So anyway, what I called them, I let them know my concerns and everything. And basically they reassured us. I was able to get her some wet food and everything. And she is feeling better now. And in fact, they called afterwards um, to check up on her. And the vet that I spoke with, he's like, okay, well, her reaction is not the normal reaction that most pets have. So we'll just make a note in her chart that she is not to have this anymore. I was like, uh, yeah, that's good. But consequently, because she wasn't feeling great and she couldn't settle, she couldn't sleep. Like Steve and I felt so bad. Um, we kind of let her get away with, <laughs> with, with everything. So she has this weird obsession with my chair. Like this is where she wants to sit and sleep. Even if like I haven't been sitting in it because they'll say, oh, it's because you just got up and the chair is warm. No, she has this just crazy obsession with my chair, the one I'm sitting in. So we've let her kind of get away with it and sit in it. So now that she's feeling better, she seems to think that this is a uh, permanent arrangement. And, and so the moment she comes in the office, I'm using some of this kind of darker navy blue. Uh, the moment she comes in the office, she will bolt for, uh, for my chair and not move. And like, <laughs> she tricked me too, because I thought she wanted to eat. And so she came in and like started to go towards her food, but then like immediately darted and <laughs> went to my chair. Like her, 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 her front uh, legs were a little sore from the injections that she got. So it's just like, I told Steve, I was like, this cat that has been so loopy and limping for three days has suddenly faked me out and bolted to my chair so that she could she could steal my seat. I mean, I'll let her get away with it because she didn't feel good and she's 19, but it's just like, if I get up to do anything, she literally runs. No, it has to, that's exactly, no taxi taxi. <laughs> She bolts and will just lay all over it, but I just don't have the heart to move her because she's just, she hasn't been sleeping. She hasn't been feeling well. I'm going to tell you, we're going to have to like start retraining after that. As it is this morning, uh, when I was getting ready for stream, I only had to sit on the edge of my chair because she's like, yeah, no, it's mine. <laughs> she really is. I know, right, Kara? She really does. I mean... Hillary told Steve, I'm like, I will let her do anything. I just want her to feel better. That's exactly what it is, Megan. If it is available and my office door is open, she will literally run to the chair. Like she knows that she needs to beat me to the chair. <laughs> like, oh, come on. All right, we're going to get some more of this indigo. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely not. Wait, that was the black. What am I doing? Definitely not my chair anymore. It is, it is fully hers. Like, well, all right, guess this, guess this is what we're doing now. But that's the thing, Ev. They have, they have between, because I, I really wanted to try and keep the cats from scratching uh, the carpet in the new place. So we're like, okay, well, if we don't want them to scratch the carpet in the new place, let's give them as many spots to scratch as they can. You know, redirect them, make sure they have plenty of entertainment. So, you know, we've got some small standing pole uh she's a little turkey still small standing like little pole scratcher but there is a cat tower in this office there's a cat tower out in the loft which is right outside the door and there's a cat tower downstairs not to mention a few you know like smaller ones set out some regular just like pole ones for them to scratch it's just there's she has so many options so many options but she refuses all of them in lieu of beating in my chair. She won't even sit in Steve's chair. Like I've tried pulling, like she really wanted to get into the office before, um, this was before everything happened, but she really wanted to get into the office. And, uh, and uh, so we're like, okay, well, what if we just put Steve's chair out? Cause she gets mine just covered in fur and for whatever reason, the material on Steve's chair, uh, the fur doesn't stick to. But anyway, us were like, okay, well let's put, uh, let's put Steve's chair just outside the door so that uh so that she can lay on a chair if it's a chair that she wants no not even interested it's my chair specifically <laughs> how many towers does she have so 
if we're talking just like scratching poles too, she has one, two, three, four, I think there's five. I think there's five towers and scratching locations, which I would like to point out, she's not even using them. Thankfully, Paul and Annie are uh, very well trained when it comes to not scratching, but Isis just does not care. So I actually got some uh, clear vinyl. Maybe it might look a, a, a little a little cheap, but basically I did some, you know, like those um, plastic desk rollers that have the spikes underneath um, to, to hold it and not have it move around in the carpet. Uh, I have those underneath all of the doors because she will attack all of the carpet uh, on the doors because she wants in. So needless to say, she is definitely uh, set in her ways. Ooh, what was for lunch? Beef and cheddar melt with cottage cheese, pears and chips. Oh, that sounds good. Right? It's so exciting. I know, pretty soon we're going to be adding, uh, adding charms and everything. Okay, so let's add a little bit more detail on these flowers. We'll have to do the middle. So let's get, let's get some of that kind of, it was like a, a cooler, a cooler red that we were using before. Let's see. Ooh, get a sparkly name too. Yes. And I've since gotten uh, more vinyl too. So yeah, if you want sparkly, let me know. We've got iridescent. I've got solid color. Um, we've got, I think I've got some gold sparkly, blue sparkly. I will say um, the gold sparkly kind of like fades away on the green background. So yeah, I don't know how well. The, the silver sparkly is definitely really good, which is what I did for... Uh, for Renee's. Blackhead is tearing my broom apart. Never bothered it since I've been home. Oh, hi, Blue. How are you, Brit? Hello. Ooh, cottage cheese. I love, uh, I tried to introduce the kids to cottage cheese and canned peaches, and they were not having it. I don't know. Does anybody have any weird recipes that they do with cottage cheese? My sister likes ketchup on her cottage cheese. <laughs> Time to charge a mission for taking your CV. She's not buying a broom. I know, right? Although, to be fair, this chair was actually a gift from Ev. So I can't really use an excuse with it. <laughs> Until your 20s? No, that's fair. Yeah, I had one cat that would like eat the bristles on the broom and everything. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but she just has this massive uh, obsession with my chair. But oh well, she's old. I'll let her get away with it. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> butter fries, it's not you. Exactly. Oh, strawberries and honey. Oh, Callie, I haven't thought about that. That sounds good. Lately, I've been eating, um, Roll Gold has some really good uh, gluten-free pretzels. Eat my fake Christmas tree. Uh, yeah, that one's sort of inevitable. I just I just assume that's going to happen during the holiday seasons. <laughs> like, well, that's going to be a fun cleanup. But yeah, so I think... As far as uh, Claire and Barbara and Suzanne and I, I think we haven't confirmed anything yet, but possibly uh, mid-April. So right around, uh, right around my birthday, I think we'll go ahead and do that. I don't ever say exactly which day is my birthday, but mid-April. Now <laughs> he's all about the broom. Speaking of brooms, oh God, is she some chips? Nice. Just hide as <laughs> she eat it though. Uh, did you guys know, and, and I didn't really know this, that there are um, like artisan brooms. I found this lady on Instagram. Uh, this is just like another darker navy blue. I'm just adding a little bit. You know what? That almost seems too dark. I don't know that I like that. Um, but she makes these really fancy brooms. And I'm just like, oh, fancy broom. I'd never use it because it'd be too fancy. But aesthetically, it's probably great. Yeah, artisan brooms. Like she hand wraps it all and like does these patterns on the upper part of the brooms. It's crazy. I had no idea. That's the plan, Blue. Yep, we're trying to figure out an exact date, but I think tentatively uh, mid-April. But yeah, she hand makes all of these brooms, weaves them, wraps them, like puts design in straw. Like it's amazing. I was like, I had no idea that was even a thing. We go we may just have to do one nesting doll considering <laughs> right i know it's amazing i had no idea it was a thing 
Um, yeah, we may need to just do this one nesting doll. It's taken us so long. Hi, Patricia. Right, Megan? Oh, let me see. I will see if I can find what her name is and I'll post it in the Discord. I know I've been kind of MIA from, uh, I've been in some streams, but like I haven't posted anything on social media uh, all that much because I've actually been working on uh, decor for the house. I've been making all Lord of the Rings uh, themed stuff. And so if you want to see what that is, I did post it on my stories. It might still be up this morning, uh, but I also put it in Discord. I was actually pretty proud. I found a, um, I've been trying to, you know, decorate on a budget. I'm not spending hundreds of dollars on, you know, Lord of the Rings decor. So I've been trying to, uh, you know, uh, upcycle things or make things or whatever else. So, you know, there've been some goodwill runs. Um, there's been, you know, clearance at Hobby Lobby, all that kind of stuff. But I got this bowl for like $1.50 at Walmart and it was the perfect shape for it. The way that it was made is like, uh, here, oh my God. sticky note, yes, sticky note. Uh, the way that it was made was, okay, I only have orange, so I'm going to give you guys orange, is that, ah, oh, thank you. Yeah, so the bowl had this kind of, uh, you know, obviously it's, that's the top of the bowl. And it was, it was just a ceramic, like I said, it was $1.50 Walmart, but it had this kind of ring shape on top of the bowl. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's perfect. So I painted the bottom half of it black and the top just paint. Yeah. So the bottom part of it was black. I just used the um, Arteza acrylic paints. And then, so actually I have some of the paint sitting next to me. So I did black on the bottom. This one was just, uh, just Liquitex basics brand, but any black would work, honestly. Uh, this one is the Master's Touch Gold, also Hobby Lobby. And then this was the Arteza Pearlized Craft Paint. So I did the black and the acrylic initially, and then put this over, uh, over the top of it. And then what I did after it all dried, and I should have done the trick where when you put down a stencil or tape, where you do it with the same color, and then you go over with the new color. Um, anyway, so I made a stencil on my uh, silhouette machine and i reverse cut out uh the the lettering that's on the one ring and then i mixed myself like a really light cream color and then used the stencil to put the lettering on that way and honestly it looks awesome if you're looking at it close you'll see there's like you know texture to it because of the acrylic paint hi patricia uh thanks renee um but i uh I did that and then I basically I was using my cut, cutting machine for a lot of stuff. I actually was touching up this this morning because I was trying to get it look like parchment. So it's just this board here that's just going to look like parchment. It's got this hanger on the back. But you know on Lord of the Rings where he says uh, no admittance except on party business. And I think I told some of you this already. Anyway, this is going to be the sign on the front of the bathroom downstairs that says no admittance except on potty business. <laughs> Oh, is it F? Yeah, see, I was just using what I had. My goal, my goal is to like shop the garage and just try and use as much of stuff that I have already. That's the only way I can justify uh, frivolously decorating. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's do, I'm gonna make it a little bit darker on this side. Um, so there were a few things that I found in the garage, like the lanterns, I got each of them for like $3.50 at, um, at uh, Goodwill and I took them apart and switched them up, added some fake plants. Uh, Michael's is having a really good sale on plants right now. The plants were like $1.50 or whatever else. I'm all about a good, uh, a good sale. Um, but some plants and some paint and it was cool. I forgot I actually had, you know, like those um, hanging, plant, uh, hanging plant basket hooks. I for forgot that I had one of those in the garage and I found it and it was perfect. So that's how I was able to hang the, uh, the lamp up on the wall. I say lamp, I mean, it doesn't really light up, but it is, it's a plant lamp. <laughs> and then I have the Hobbit uh, paintings and everything that I want to do, but yeah. I need to redecorate your living room. Well, it's looking great down there. The armoire was the big project, but I never, I thought about taking pictures and videos and posting them uh, on Instagram or whatever, but I did not have the patience or the energy to sand down the armoire and like refinish it. And it's like, oh, this beautiful oak wood. I was like, yeah, nah. Cause if I were to put that on social media, like anybody who does 
paints over wood, like just gets eaten alive online. And I'm like, nope, I'm not sharing this process with anybody. Yes, yes, I can. I'll have to do it after stream though, because I don't want to make a mistake and uh, do the right, um, do the wrong thing. So you can redeem any time too. So when we are done with stream today, uh, I'll fix that, but you can open up the loyalty store um, anytime and redeem. So whenever um, I do that today, you could go back like later this afternoon, or I forget what time it is there for you, uh, and, and purchase the right one. So yes, I can. Yeah, the armoire. So <laughs> I also made a uh, furniture upcycling faux pas, but I'll be honest, I just didn't want to go through all of that. Um, I didn't sand it before I painted it. I, I did not. I just went to it. That being said, it is not a high traffic armoire. It's where we keep like our board games and everything downstairs. So it's just us. It's not like, you know, it's not put at some guest house or in an office or anything. It's literally just us. Right, yeah, repurposing bookcases, absolutely. I did find one thing on Amazon that I really, really like, and it looks like an old stack of books, but it holds tissues. And I was like, okay, I want that one. <laughs> but most things, most things I'm trying to do myself. Welcome back, Vicky. All right, so I'm just using that kind of indigo color right now because I want to emphasize the shadows on the left side of her. And I keep having to remind myself that, like, she is not a 3D, like, her painting is not 3D. Like, it's just flat painted on here. But yeah, a lot of you guys are getting close. It's going to be so exciting seeing that fill up. All right. So let's get a little bit of the blue. Let's do this one. Yeah, that's what this one is. So this was actually... Um, some, I need to dry this. Some friends of ours, uh, they were moving internationally. They were moving from the States, uh, over to, uh, well, uh, cross the pond. Uh, anyway, and so they couldn't take a lot of their stuff with it. <laughs> I do need to do one for Nightbot. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. That's right. I forgot. Nightbot, he's got, last I checked, well, he probably has more now. What is it? When I opened this up earlier, he was at... 4,490. Oh, he's now at 4,610. <laughs> All right, yeah, we'll have to do one for... Yes, oh, absolutely, the heat gun is amazing. Hi, Secret. Good morning, Alex. Oh, you passed a thousand nice. Oh, wait, what did the paint today? Uh, we're not drawing the paint today, the sticker paper. Oh, oh, I get the second thing now. He gets a stitch. <laughs> Probably, I'm making like the fanciest name ever. But yeah, we are definitely drying today. Um, what was I saying? I was saying something. Someone help me out. It says you don't have enough points to redeem? Let me check real quick. Hold up. Let's see. Refresh it. Try refreshing. Refreshing it because it does take a little bit for my points to show up. No, I know you do. It says you've got 3,880. Oh no, Secret. I hope you're doing okay. Oh, sick kiddo today. Yeah. Yeah, try refreshing the loyalty shot and let me know. Because yeah, you definitely have enough points. No, that's right, Jeanette. And there's no rush on this project at all. Did I, I grab the wrong paintbrush? Oh, right, 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 right. Thank you, Kara. Um, so anyway, they were moving and they couldn't bring it with them. And it is like, <laughs> to reach the goal. You will, you will. Um, it is like a legit armoire, like solid oak. It is intense. Let's do, let's actually do a lighter green. Um, and so anyway, they, they were just gonna get rid of it. And I was like, oh, we'll take it. So we've had this armoire for ages, but it had like this yellow, and it was like kind of speckled and it's just, it was not pretty and it was definitely pretty worn. We're on spring break, right? Actually here, let me see if I can pull up a picture of it. Cause I was sending, um, I was sending pictures to my mom as I was working on it. And you'll get an idea. Like it was just really, really worn and not great. And I was like, this needs to be changed. See what I mean? 
It was yellow. It was not pretty at all. <laughs> now, obviously this isn't a great lighting picture, but yeah, not good at all. It looks so much better now. So much better. Let's see if I've got the picture on here. Yeah. Anyway, you can see the final picture uh, in the Discord. But yeah, it was a bleh. We just hadn't really high belled any welcome. We just hadn't really done anything with it. So even if I wasn't, um, even if I wasn't going to be doing Lord of the Rings themed, uh, updating the color on that was so much better. Exactly, Chris. Now, like I said, had I had the time or the energy or the internet lighting a fire under me, I might have sanded it and, and you know, refinished it with the wood. Because let's be honest, that's probably a bit more hobbitish. But I do not have the time or the patience for that. <laughs> I was like, nope, we're just slapping some paint on this sucker. That's all it is. It's a really bright green. Now, we've already done some indigo in places to indicate the shadows. So um, some of them won't be quite as dark. But yeah, absolutely. I was like, nah, ah, uh, thank you. Yeah, we were just watercoloring away on our little nesting doll here, having a good time. But yeah, so it's mostly just this week been um, uh, 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 decorating the house, really. I haven't even been like online hardly at all. I haven't played any games at all this week. Like it's just, yeah rough oh thank you i i have been hearing so much about chalk paint like i guess i assumed that chalk paint was like um for like when you make chalkboards but everybody has mentioned chalk paint to me what is what is this chalk paint is this something i need to add see because we're renting we can't paint the walls either so that's why i was kind of looking for ways to spruce up the stuff that we have that is still renter friendly it's in the 30s oh goodness <laughs> right, Chris? Oh, and I have no doubt that it does. I did not, I did not go into that with the delusion that, oh, this is going to be great. There's probably about three or four layers of paint on it. And like I said, it's not super high traffic. Like the kids will go in there, you know, to get a board game and then that's it. You're in, wait. Oh, you're in a perfect, oh, that's right. Yeah, because I was watching your stream when that was happening and I was like, Oh, I was telling Steve because he was in here and I was just like, oh man, I feel for her so much. Like, yeah, it's very matte and looks chalky when dry. Interesting. Have you tried chalk pencils? Can you do a whole page with them? Do you mean like pastels or charcoal? Technically, I have the pebbles chalks also. Those are chalks. But yeah, we've done. You don't have to prime. Just clean the piece and slap it on and seal it with a what? Really? Hmm. I might consider that if I'm painting any more furniture. The other thing that I did that I was really proud of, so the kids used to have bunk beds, but now that they're older, uh, the bunk beds that we had were specifically meant to be separated. So uh, they would each have their twin bed, which we do. So for ages, we've just had this um, bunk bed ladder that is just sitting there, not being used, gathering dust. So I went, I cleaned it up, and that one I did sand down. Um, guess the charcoal? Yes, I did. So I used them... Uh, on an image uh, on my Instagram, they are the Grisai uh, charcoal pencils. They're really interesting. I went through the black really fast. Um, but uh, but yeah, so I did sand that one down. I painted it the same green as the armoire, and I actually used it as a um, uh, a blanket a blanket holder so it's leaned up against the wall and then i've got blankets across the rungs beatrice thank you and welcome get some hype in chat for beatrice thank you so much and now you have access to all of these handy dandy emotes if it's gonna let me i need to do a button that just makes all these emotes <laughs> pop up and there's a little woo! There they go. Uh, also, there is a free coloring download on the community tab and there will be a new one, a new one coming next month. And actually, do I have, I don't mind here. Um, I have that uh, coloring page all ready to go as well. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. Finished that one a little while ago. Got that checked off my list. Hang on, I'll pull it up and you guys can see what it is. I uh, was in the mood for doing food again. So I, uh, let's see, here we go. Here we go. This is a coloring page for next month. It's a cute little cupcake with lots of little things. I was thinking if I were to ever make a coloring book, 
Oh, thank you, Kara. Get some types in the chat for Kara. Five New Zealand dollars from Kara. Exclamation Karana point hype and those handy dandy hype emotes. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Oh, wait, wait hold up. Close that. Uh, what did Del say? I have two Anaron deck chairs that someone left on the sidewalk. The arms are chewed up dogs. They rebuilt it and used blue chalk paint sealed it with Dixie. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I might, I might need to look into that. But yeah, so. Next month's uh, <laughs> make a color and make up purchase. Well, see, the only thing that I've been hesitant to do is that, like, unless a publisher reaches out to you or or whatever else, like, it's hard to put together a quality coloring book. So it would end up being it would end up being an Amazon coloring book, but it's just like I don't know. Christine Karen seems to do wonderful. Oh, that's still wet. Seems to do wonderful with hers and the fact that it's Amazon paper. Um, but I don't know. Oh, nice. I mean, how do you guys feel? I'm just like, let's put a poll. Let's put a poll because it is something I'm considering. I don't know when I would get it done or how I'd fit it in, but uh, it's going to be birds. It's going to be birds. So I'm working on a bunch of different kinds of birds. Uh, let's see. I just haven't got it out as much because I'll be honest, last week I was decorating, but uh, I'm going to get it done in the next couple of days here. Oh, yes, please do. Well, but see, Kara, that's the thing is I do have digital already. I have them in my Etsy store. PDF, I like printing all out. Well, yeah, so I do have, I do have lots of PDFs over on, over on Etsy, but I'm just thinking of physical books. So do you like Amazon coloring book paper? Okay, so I'm going to put yes. No, and then no, but if I like the artist enough, oh, how can I put that instead? But will, if I like the artist. Okay, per, here we go. There you go. Because like Christine Karen's, uh, I, I, uh, I, I don't like the Amazon paper, but I love her illustrations. So I have some of her books. So I'm curious. Are Eerie books on Amazon paper? No. So the Amazon paper, whoop, hit the paint cam. The legs for the little tripod it's on is uh, a little wonky. There we go. Hang on. Let me grab you one of the books. So um, there are a number of artists. I want to say, does, doesn't Jade Summer... Doesn't Jade Summer do that also? There are. Earth, I know I've got some here. Let's put them somewhere. Sorry, here, I'll do this here so you can see what I'm see what I'm doing. I've got a lot of books over here, but Little town does Amazon paper as well. Jennifer Zimmerman, Amazon. Yeah, more nice little town. Okay. There we go. Yes, Jade Summer. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. So. For the Amazon paper, because Christine even puts a like a a thing in her description that says like, you know, I, I don't have sh like kind of choice or control over the paper. So it really just does feel like computer paper. And with the with the ink, I don't know if you can see, there's a little bit, there you go. Mm -mm. There you go. You see that slight shine? There's a little bit of a gloss on the ink. So a lot of times if I'm going to do anything heavier than pencils, um, cause there's not a lot of tooth to it also, uh, I will, um, I'll like copy it, make a copy of it and then print it out myself. So it's not, it's not absolutely terrible. And I know there, okay. So like for instance, this one for a nice little town for whatever reason, and I'm not entirely sure they do like a black solid page 
for each, but I think I would probably do like Christine Karen's and do the um, not black on the back of it. So, I mean, it's not, it's not the worst. It's just printed on computer paper. This is Jennifer Zimmerman. So she does that too. And she's got some little notes and everything. So she talks about, you know, like, okay, if you're going to use marker on this, which is a good idea. Here we go. We've done that one. Um, but yeah, so it's not, it's not the worst. It's not, but I just don't know that I, I don't know that I necessarily want to struggle with the paper and inevitably have to answer the, why does your paper suck so much? It's because it's on Amazon. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. There we go. But I am considering it. Let's see. Won't have the black anymore due to the cost. Does it cost more to do the black? Ah, uh, thanks, Kim. Okay, so it looks like in general that you guys aren't horribly against the books if they're on Amazon. <laughs> thanks, Britt. I'd have to think on the um, idea of it. Because in fact, um, I am, I know it's been a little while, but I'm also participating in uh, Mermay this year. Uh, Monarch Coloring Events is doing that. Let's see. I started sketching, I started sketching a little bit. It's just the girl for now. It's kind of hard to see. Let's see, can I get it in focus? She looks nudie, but she's not. Got hair covering her. She's a mermaid. What do you want? <laughs> I'm also toying with doing a male, a male mermaid. Because I've heard people be like, why aren't there ever any men on here? Like, I know that, um, uh, uh, oh, what is it? Coloring Heaven? Like, uh, they've had people comment where, uh, they, there aren't enough men or whatever else. Let's see. Look with that a lot of twos to try on my pencil see works best. Not liking any of them so far. I'm gonna try my oil based pencils next. Yeah, I could see that. Male mermaid, right? A merman. Yes, yeah. Monia does great merman. Uh Monia and when um she was part of the the um you know the special events ones, um uh uh, uh Lisa Matrokin did did male merman also. Oh, uh, thanks. So these are just, these are just rough sketches. I just, I couldn't, I didn't like his hair. And I was like, cause this is like, I have a method where like, I'll do a really rough sketch and then I'll refine the sketch and then I'll refine the sketch again. And then I'll do inking. Uh, in May, but I'm not exactly sure the date. I will let you know. Finally got an iPad. So I need your help with the silhouette. Sometimes I still haven't opened it. Till I, wait, uh, the silhouette cutting machine or the silhouette of a drawing? Mer kids. Ooh, mer kids are hard. Christine Karen does wonders at drawing like the full uh, age range. Um, let's see. Let's do a little bit of this bright green on the bottom of her jacket. I swear we're going to get this done today. Oh, oh, you've got the cameo. Oh, awesome. Now, I haven't used the cameo um, in conjunction with an iPad. I only ever use it with my computer. Yeah, exactly. Mermaid is all month. This is just the streams are one weekend. Yeah. So the sales for Mermaid should be going all month long. Well, what you could do if you're, uh, if you're doing overseas, but you still want to get in on the deals because all of the artists that are involved will offer deals on their Etsy stores. You could always purchase them, um, at the deal price that you want and then save them, uh, save them for later. I'm going out of the line, but it's okay. Does good and Christine Karen books in, in the Amazon ones, or do you mean uh, wildflower folk? I'm not gonna lie. I was so excited when Christine did a, like a high quality book, like her, her pages deserve it so much. Yeah, Cameo is a cutting machine. Yeah, so I have the silhouette, um, I have the silhouette portrait, which I absolutely love. I've been, it's so funny. I used to like tell my friend who who had one, like, oh, I'd never get a portrait. I don't really know what I'd use it for. Or you're not a portrait, like a cricket or whatever. Oh my God, I use it like almost every week between cutting the stickers and like other projects and whatever else. Like I am always, always, always finding a use for it. Like consistently. <laughs> 
Like the cute cartoony faces, but realistic people scare me. No, that's fair. No, no, absolutely. Yeah, no, she, um, let's see, what was Blue Angel Publishing, I think? Yeah, the Wildflower Folk one is from an actual publishing company. You'll, you'll, if you have some of her other Amazon ones, there's definitely a difference. I hope that they uh, invite her to do more books in the future. But so that's the hard part, that unless you get kind of headhunted, uh, by someone just because the coloring book market is like super saturated it's really hard to break into the publishing portion of it and those that self-publish and print their own books they tend to barely break even because our printing costs because we are not a bulk book printing company the printing costs just don't balance out with how much it costs to do it bye don thanks for being here right callie Yes, Renee, I wholeheartedly agree. That is who I started with, with portrait. Well, technically I did some portraits in Christine and um, um, Hannah Carlson, but like I, I, I didn't, I definitely improved after I started doing Christine's. And part of the big reason for that is because she does hers kind of grayscale. So it helps you learn where you need to put all of like your shadows and everything else. <laughs> right, Ev? Oh my gosh, yeah, I use it all the time. I used my regular paper cutter the other day because little Steve came to me and he wanted to make some origami, but he was getting frustrated, so I cut us a bunch of square pieces with it. Yeah, Lana Green, she's wonderful. Does she add shadow? Yeah, so Christine's, and again, I'll just show you this one because I have it on hand. Um, her wildflower folk is just brilliant. It's not so grayscale, like it's a black and white image, but what she does is she adds the shadows, like just under the chin, jawline, elbows, like it gives you just a hint of where the shadows can be. So you're seeing that kind of glare on it, um, but where your shadows can be so that you kind of know where to place everything. This is one of her earlier ones. See like, here's a, here's a mermaid one, but yeah. This one, especially when she does like the up close faces, so it gives you a good idea how to do it. Daria, yeah, I remember, didn't um, Sammy do a Daria page? Right, Linda, it's so good. Yeah, Vicky, that's that's what really helped me, like a lot, a lot. Uh, let's see, we need to get a little bit of yellow on the inside of those flowers. What is this? Try and avoid that little bit of messy green that I have on there. I guess I can shift this up a little bit so you guys can see where I'm mixing this. Oh, uh, sorry. I say that with Sammy. Uh, Sammy is taking a break from streaming, so she doesn't stream anymore, but you can, her streams are still up. Her I'm pretty sure uh, her past streams are still up. So if you type in um, exclamation point Sammy, actually, I think I should have, if I didn't, if I didn't give her her own command, I definitely need to. Um, I, and if Sammy's not there, um, you can also, I have a recommendations page on my website that has a bunch of coloring channels, uh, listed. If you're wanting to find new ones, you could just type in exclamation point website and then just go to, oh, I smeared that yellow. Um, oh, I missed that flower. And just go to the recommendations, uh, section. Oh, um, S-A-M-M-I-E. Sorry. I-E, not Y. I should have specified. Ah, uh, thank you, Shannon. Although now I'm curious if I do have a command for her. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, with a with a IE. But yeah, so if you're looking for new people, I haven't updated or anything. Those are just a lot of um. <laughs> yes, absolutely. She does wonderful um with fur as well. It'd be awesome to see her uh, come back at some point. I know that her streams would just be jam packed, but she is also fully enjoying motherhood. And um, yes, taking all of that precious time with her littles, which is, it's just, it's perfect. Cause you only get that time once. But I like seeing all the little updates with her kiddo. Okay, so I'm using that kind of pinkish magenta. And hi Shannon, how are you? <laughs> right? I know I need to get in touch with Belinda. I know she and I briefly talked about whenever she's ready to come back to streaming, we would do another uh, another joint stream, which would be super fun. 
Belinda, if I have done some um, fun challenges. Oh, she really is. Uh, Belinda is the whole reason that I started practicing with Copics in the first place. Like hands down. The amount that I have learned from this community, like just blows my mind. Like I have no idea where I would be at with all of this. Honestly, I probably would have stopped doing it if like I didn't have anybody to talk to about it. But given that we've moved and I haven't really met a lot of people yet, like you guys have saved my sanity. <laughs> right? Ah, uh, Cam. <laughs> hi, Callie. Or maybe you were, did I ever say hi to you? Oh my gosh, I forget sometimes. All right, let's do some screen here, bottom part of that. And then I'm gonna go open up the office door because Isis is just very upset that the door is shut. She may come in and steal my chair. It's hard to say. <laughs> but I hear her outside the door doing her very sad. <laughs> right, Shannon? Walking straight to my desk. Are you gonna beat me? You gonna beat me to the seat? <laughs> yes, can I help you? And there she goes. <laughs> Alright, hang on. Yeah, let's see if I can do this without. There she is. She stole my seat. <laughs> oh, kitty. Okay, let's move this back. Mm, there we go. There we go. Sorry, right, like it's unscrewing itself. I need to. Yeah, she did. She got the chair completely. Hi. Oh, she's rubbing her face all over everything. Her chair now. <laughs> Campaign stand. I might need to. I might need to. Or just like sit right on the edge of the chair here. Are you going to let me sit? If you, you can take the back half. I'll, I'll take the front. <laughs> it's her seat now. <laughs> there we go. I only get part of the chair. The rest is hers. I, I did have to, you know what? That's actually not a bad idea. I did have to do that yesterday. Hi. She's still, she's still, <laughs> thanks. Uh, she's still not 100% yet and it's making her much more cuddly. We could tell that she really wasn't herself because she was letting us rub her tummy. Right. Which is not something she usually lets us do. Hi, Bidloophile, welcome. Hi. So yeah, she's very much like head button up against us for pets. This is the little pink can here. <laughs> Hi. Do I need to just, yeah, we should probably swap out chairs so you can have this one. Okay, I can do that. Let's, let's go back here, okay? I'm gonna move you over here in this corner and I'm gonna go get Steve's. <laughs> hey, look, my shoe. Okay. You can go there. I will get Steve's chair. Is that cool with you? I'll do this one. <laughs> Steve, not Steve. Right? Wait, you're coming. She's over here now. I swapped chairs for Lisa. Is it just that you want whatever chair I'm sitting in? Okay, well, if you're, if you're not... <laughs> I'm getting my chair back. So we're just playing musical chairs now. Oh, I see. So the moment I want it is when you want it. Okay, well, I'm gonna go sit over here. Keep doing what I'm doing. You cool with that? <laughs> Hi, I'm here. We'll, we'll shift you this way so they can see you. You can have the chair for now. 
taken over. Also, hi, everyone. <laughs> and she settled. I don't know why I built him that cubby. Don't use it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. All right. Let's let's switch it back over here. Oh, silly kitties. Now we're going to shift that a little bit. <laughs> oh, silly cat. All right. Okay. Yeah, she's settling in now. She's like, all right, I'll take my nap now. <laughs> I know it. She's been so snuggly and so lovey. Like, it's, it's hilarious. I'm glad that she's feeling better. Oh, yeah. That's her throne now. That's where she's going to stay. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry you're going through that. <laughs> right, Alex? Well, it's like normally she she honestly like does her own thing. She's old. She wants to sleep. She doesn't want to be bothered. But this medicine, whatever it was, like it just... <laughs> she was having a bit of a bad trip, guys. <laughs> her, her pupils were huge. Aw, thank you, Brit. Her pupils were huge. She didn't know what was going on. I felt so bad. And so, yeah, she will never be getting this medicine again. I guess it was a pain medicine and it just made her so, so loopy and just like needing attention. She's definitely a lot better than she was. Because at the time, she like wasn't eating now either. Oh, yeah. No, she's definitely, she she probably gets spoiled more than the other cats. We We let her get away with a lot more. But she's like... 19 years old so so she gets she gets an exception oh my gosh you guys this nesting doll is taking me so long okay here's what we're gonna do because like we're only an hour in and like i feel like we're not done i think i want to map in the rest of our colors let's do that yep that's exactly well but then i was like so surprised that like they're like oh yeah it'll be for four days i'm like for four days and you guys couldn't have told us like this is what to expect absolutely not Okay, so let's see. Let's do blue up here. I know I'm missing some of chat. I apologize. Okay, so let's do blue here. So whose stream? I'm trying to remember whose stream it was when we were talking about... Oh, it might have been Claire's or Suzanne's. We were talking about... Um, oh, yeah, it was Suzanne's. We were talking about shops, art shops in the U.S. And after that conversation, I realized that there is a Jerry's Artorama within driving distance. I may need to uh, take advantage of that at some point. I told Steve, I was like, look, if you ever gonna give me a shopping spree of any kind, I wanna go here. <laughs> right? I know. I was like, there's a Jerry's Artorama. There's no Blix down here. I did look. And it's not like the, the Jerry's isn't in town. I would have to drive to it. Uh, let's see. Let's do it's magenta. Still there. Just hanging out. I'm using Steve's chair. <laughs> if she does that on the regular. Maybe we should change one of these cams to be a cat cam. <laughs> right? It'd be fun. I mean, I've never been there before, but if I ever feel like blowing a bunch of money, which I don't usually, uh, <laughs> could be an option. All right, let's go ahead and get this. Oh, I think what I'd want to do is go there for their open stock to try a bunch of new pencils that I haven't tried before. They sent you six? Did they charge you for six or did they just send you six? Maybe they were, maybe they felt bad because it took them so long. No. Oh. We go that needs to go above that that's why it looked funky okay sorry i was just fixing that blix in portland area but i have been afraid to go <laughs> right i know we just got to bring bring the husbands with us to help keep us in check okay let's go ahead and do the light green here so we're just going to map in all of our colors here i think we'll add some texture to things They charge you for one. Interesting. Well, happy birthday. 
<laughs> all right, let's get some of that purple. Like, I'm not really saying colors all that much because paints is different. Like, I can't give you an exact color because I'm mixing them. So if you're following along and you're using paints or pencil or whatever, I would say just go with the color palette and, and go from there. Definitely a lot of bright kind of, I would say primary colors, but I've only used a little bit of yellow. All right? <laughs> Buy all the things. Well, the only really purchasing that I've been that I've done recently was for uh, Easter for the kids and their Easter baskets. So, um, little Emily, although she still enjoys an Easter egg hunt, most of the local ones um, she has aged out of. So I got plenty of eggs, and we're gonna do an Easter egg hunt um, around here. You know what? Let's put some blue over that green. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, okay. See, that's pretty. Got like a blue green going on. I'm down with that. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, then let's grab some of that indigo again. And we're going to dry this when we're done with this apron part. I don't know if you guys are following Christine Karen on Instagram or not, uh, but she was practicing some portraits with watercolor today and I was like, ah, oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> well, I finally got Steve's, um, for Christmas, I made him this uh, X-Wing model that I got in a kit. And so I finally put that up for him yesterday. Right, oh, I know, mine too. That is true. Bob is very skilled with his 3D printer. I also have this, oh, grab it, that I got at Hobby Lobby on clearance and I was there one day, but I'm gonna put this, put this together for him. It's just a little one, but it's got all these pieces and I'll need to glue it together and paint it. So this is definitely um, <laughs> a project I'm gonna do when I'm done with everything else I've got on my list. Right, Brit? Oh, me too. I rarely have a page that doesn't have any glue in it. You know what I should do? I wonder if I can adjust the zoom on this. We go to this one, and then we're gonna go to camera here. Let's see if it will let me zoom in anymore. It might not. No, that's as, that's as close as it lets me get. Never mind. Never mind. I was gonna see if we could zoom in hers because she's just she's asleep now. <laughs> Happy kitty in my chair. <laughs> um, Renee, I'll have to send you a link. Has he? I don't know how much Bob does social media, but has he seen that guy that's printing all of the Pokemon? Oh, the star, <laughs> the rainbow trout. Well, I actually grew up in a, uh, a fisherman's family. Which I say fisherman's family. We were a fishing family uh, for 20 plus years or so until uh, my parents changed careers. But I grew up on the coast. My grandmother owned a tackle shop. Like fishing was all over the place. Yeah, for sure, Josephine, because I can always physically uh, redeem it also. Because I'm not sure why it's telling you that you don't uh, have enough, because I know you have enough. So yes, I will take a look at that and we'll get you squared away after stream. <laughs> there you go, Megan. <laughs> okay, let's do some more of that indigo. That is true. Yeah, are you trying to get the hand-stitched one or the vinyl one? Okay, so we're going to sim that indigo here. Do 
look up in just a second. So I'm not doing any kind of like variation on color right now. I'm just putting down the solid colors so we can get all of this kind of laid out. The vinyl. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll take a look at it. Right? It was good because we got fresh uh, fish and chips when I was younger. So um, my mother, we we're kind of a family production. Uh, dad would fish. Uh, we had the tackle shop. My mom would uh, fillet fillet the fish. Like it was a full family, but I distinctly remember with my brother. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with commercial fishing, but a lot of times when they came in um, off the boat, there were these big. Um, oh, I can't even think of. I was about to put red there. There's already a color there. I can't remember the name of what the totes were, but just imagine a very large plastic box um that had it, it was just shaped differently so it could be um hooked up to be brought up off the ships because uh the way that they that they brought the fish up is that there was a big crane that lifted everything um but anyway um you had these massively sized plastic um bins i suppose uh where the fish would be brought over to the tackle shop we'd fillet it up get it put in sell it all that good stuff uh <laughs> my my little brother and i um what we would do what our job was was that while everything was getting transferred because usually just i think it only took like an hour to get everything transferred to where it needed to be uh but while it was transferred um it was our job to make sure that the seagulls didn't get to it so <laughs> we had brooms with us and we would just not that we like we didn't hit any of the birds or anything but it was just the movement and so we would march like soldiers just around the 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 bin and it would keep the seagulls away just because there was movement nearby but it was yeah it was pretty hilarious i have good memories of it my little brother had a little sailor hat and we just march around the fish bin oh my favorite is halibut i really like halibut it's been raining here all morning well i mean it's spring considering where you live so that one doesn't surprise me at all <laughs> right no it was good and you know here's the funny thing is so um Let's see, what do I want to do for the hands? Probably have her wearing gloves. Let's do purple for the hands. Um, I was, how old was I? I was in junior high, I think, when when we were, I was younger. Maybe, maybe 11, 10? I was probably at least 12. Anyway, I'm, I'm having a hard time remembering. But the point is, is I made some things for my grandmother's tackle shop. She She's now uh, since passed on, but she also had a small little portion in the shop that was a quote unquote museum. And really what it was is there were, you know, some parts from what the dock and all the boats used to be before. And there were historical pictures of what the town was, you know, initially when it got settled. It was really, really cool. So she had this little museum section. Well, when I was working in wood shop, um, I was learning, I don't remember the term of it now, but you know where you take the, um, Oh, how do I explain it? Uh, not a drill, but like you you um, use the drill to make letters in it and it creates grooves. So what is the name of it? Right, Callie, it's so good. I am, I'm not thinking the name. Anyway, but basically I made her a wooden sign and I carved out the word museum on it. Um, but after we all left and we moved and grandma sold the shop and everything, uh, the sign, the people who, who, bought, the, who bought the shop, uh, we need to dry this. A router, thank you, yes. So the people who bought the shop and run it now, they kept the sign. Yeah, no, the, the router, the router. But they kept the sign, so whenever, um, it's been years, years and years. Uh, actually, the last time I was down there was 2010. So as of 2010, I know it was like 14 years ago, but as of 2010, uh, the sign was still there. So it's kind of cool that I'm still, you know, despite the fact that my family doesn't own the shop anymore, uh, it's still there and it's cool to go back to, uh, go back and be like, oh, I made that for grandma. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it was just a cool memory. I always like to play with the, um, you know, like those little rubber, rubber worms or rubber squids that you would put, uh, on your lines to attract fish. I was always playing with those. Grandma always had sand dollars in her shop. Like, it was great. Yeah, in Oregon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's still, um, the commercial fishing down there is still holding up. Well, I say down there. Up there. Uh, and, and they're still doing all right. The town itself isn't, like, 
thriving. What's the, <laughs> what is it? I want it like it's, I wanted to say, I almost said like apocalypse, but that's not it. What's the, um, metropolis. That's the word apocalypse. <laughs> thriving apocalypse is this kitchen town. Uh, but yeah, it's not, it's not a thriving metropolis. Uh, but it's still down there and there's still local fish and it's a nice place to visit. I definitely want to take, they used to have one of the best, um, 4th of July celebrations there. And I really want to take the kids there. Um, I'm going to let this finish drying for a minute. Go ahead and talk amongst yourselves. I'll swap this over so you can see ice asleep, but I'm going to go, um, see how am I doing my water? I'm okay on my water. I'm going to go use the restroom real quick. So, uh, enjoy the cat. I will be back momentarily. She's got my arm. She's like, no, pet me here. <laughs> oh. Just enjoying her chair over there. Kitty, you're going to roll right off the chair. She's just rubbing her head all over the chair. What did they say? Uh, transplanted into Oregon. Yeah. Stop the quality when he's gone. You can be overwhelmed and underwhelmed, but can you just be whelmed? And why does my mother look like a bog monster disguise? <laughs> what? Did you guys hear that? That's her old lady Mia. What is it? Do you want me to move the chair closer? Is that what you want? Okay, hang on. Come here. Go back on the chair and I will move it closer, okay? Okay. Is that better? We good? It's beautiful. I love Oregon so much. Oh, chair's rolling. There we go. <laughs> That's all she wants right now. We just got to do a whole stream of her just getting pets. Like the way she shoves her head into my hand. Hey. <laughs> her pupils are still pretty huge. She's still not a hundred percent. She got the medicine on Saturday, so they said it lasts four days. Today's, I think, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Today is the fourth day. <laughs> you guys don't usually get to see her, like, completely. Usually it's just, like, the top of her. Also, I gotta tell you, ever since I started doing face cam, and you guys can see me from the side. I realized how bad my posture is. <laughs> hey, can I go back to finishing it? Yeah, her pupils are still huge. Are we done with pets? Oh, I love that. Yeah, uh, I actually, I sent one to my dad and my brother as well. But yeah, Rainbow, Rainbow Trout. It was one of my earlier uh, illustrations. I did a painted version of it. Uh, if you go to my website and look under like, finished 
like things. <laughs> if she wants to hang out during the stream, I am willing to uh, sacrifice my chair so she can chill. You see, she's looking at me like you stopped. I see your hand. Why is she rubbing her face on the desk? This is just, this is the remainder of the stream. We just give in to the demands of our cat queen. <laughs> hey. Can I go back to, okay, here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna work this so that we can paint and pet you at the same time. Would that be, would that be acceptable? We're gonna move you a little bit closer. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move closer. You're gonna move closer. We're all gonna move closer, okay? Then <laughs> we can make a crown sticker for. Uh, she actually does have a sticker of her uh, in the shop. It's a it's a Daisy a Daisy Kitty sticker thing. There we go. Okay, I need to like not have this on me as much. There we go. <laughs> oh, kitty! I can't zoom it in anymore. All right, kitty. I don't know how practical this is. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can do this. Can we multitask? Let's zoom back in. Here, I have an idea. I have an idea. Oof, just moving my hand. Okay. So I feel weird at being focused like on my midsection. Okay, and then we're gonna, oh no, not that. Hang on, hang on, bear with. Okay, here we go. A little bit closer. Doesn't fit in the frame anymore, but that's okay. Point is, we got the cat. And the camera right there. <laughs> yeah, midsection focus is no good. I, I wholeheartedly agree. <laughs> Josephine. Mm. She really does. They're like turquoise eyes. Just turned her back to me. Are you, are you appeased now? Are we done? All right. I think, I think, she, I think she's happy. <laughs> I know, right? I need to figure out maybe because we're not always doing watercolor and maybe when we're uh, done with the watercolor and such, we can, uh, we can set up a cat cam. Yeah. She's like, never mind. No, it was, it wasn't good enough. <laughs> All right. Well, since she's since she's sleeping now, hang on. Just gonna fix this. See, this is all the uh, behind the scenes that you guys get to see. The oh so oh so secret life behind the camera. Hang on. Everybody's gonna leave now because I'm taking too long to fiddle with this camera. <laughs> Bear with. There we go. Good enough. Got a cat cam. <laughs> exactly. Behind the scenes. She decides to look at me again. We'll have something more interesting. <laughs> yes. Behind the camera. All right. So for these little flowers. Let's do, let's do the kind of pinkish magenta. But I do like that you guys can see that. <laughs> yeah, I got all kinds of use here. You can see the, the paint palette. You can see the page and the cat. Like what more could we want? Okay. So let's do kind of magenta flowers here. She's just gonna, oh, 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 went over. She's just doing her little cat things now. And then we're gonna go back to all of this and we'll put in our shadows and everything. But whenever uh, Jennifer Stay does her videos, uh, Coloring Bliss, I love that she's got the little, the little doggy bed that just hangs out. I'm trying to remember what her dog's name is. I don't remember. <laughs> right? Seriously. Oh boy. Which is why we knew something was up with her because this is her normal state during the day. Like I said, she's 19 years old. She just sleeps a lot. Welcome back, Della. 
We now have a cat cam. <laughs> Rose or Rosie? Wait, what's Rose or Rosie? Oh, the dog. Right. Sorry. I just asked. Sorry. <laughs> this is the way my brain works, guys. I'm not kidding, man. Like, I, I, my day to day, rem I'll go downstairs and be like, I have no idea why I came down here. Not a clue. And then just stand there staring into space for a minute. It's Rosie. Got you. Okay. So we got the pink there. And then for these, let's do. I don't want to do yellow. Let's actually do some of the indigo for those. Right? It's so nice. <laughs> it's 95% of my life. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So let's just do a quick fill in of indigo here. Hmm. Definitely going to bring in some more green. We haven't done as much as the, of the darker green. Hi, Sue. Well, you're just in time, Sue. We've got the cat cam. She's sleeping, but she's there. Uh, I am not. No, that was my goal is I wanted to try and do just watercolor. I do have some metallic waters we could do if we really wanted to. But um, yeah, I'm going to do just watercolors. I believe I was bullied out of my chair by my cat. <laughs> bullied with cuteness. That's a thing, right? Bullied with cuteness. Right? Yeah, me too. Sorry, I'm just putting some chapstick on real quick. Ah! <laughs> they just are going to appreciate you even more now. I'm like, please come back. Please. <laughs> yeah, you'll be much appreciated. Well, it's because they can't really do much because you have to rest. So yeah, definitely a good. Oh, that was what. Hang on, we need to dry that. Definitely a good time for them to uh, realize how how helpful you are. She's just sleeping now. <laughs> right. Well, the thing, the difference between cats and dogs for pet cams. It's like dogs seem to love it, but cats are like, yeah, you'll get lucky if I'm in the camera. <laughs> Think of it as a day to win the lottery if I deign to be on your camera. As it is, we're getting her back, not her front. And how much you want to bet that if I were to turn the chair, she would like get really annoyed with me and like turn back around. Oh, I don't want to bother you, but. <laughs> Surprisingly, she's okay from the sound. I mean, directly on, yeah, I don't blame them. I, I wouldn't like that either. <laughs> okay, let's do our darker green, which I think we were doing this one. They really are. Yeah, let's do that one. Put a little bit more of that over here. It does have a cord, yeah. So I should have the link for it in the description, but the brand is Chandler Tools. Uh, but whenever I read it, I always think of Mrs. Chandler Bong. Um, but yeah, so it's got a cord and everything. I've had it for a while. It's got the plastic cover to uh, protect you from burning yourself, but it does the job. I've been using it for years. The only thing I try not to use it for is like when I do acrylics because it can um, cause it to bubble up. Well, to be fair, you had, there was no reason for you to see it. I will say though, having the camera there, it's forcing me to uh, sit up a little bit straighter so I'm not slouching. <laughs> Actually, let's do this green on the bottom part. That would be nice. Aw, hello, teenager and dog. That gives me hope for the future that when my children are teenagers, they'll still want to snuggle. <laughs> okay, so we're just putting some of this green. Suzanne! Suzanne, I was telling everybody that tentatively, nothing, nothing set in stone yet, but tentatively, uh, another group stream in April. Right? Absolutely. Your boss is wonderful. And it's great because they appreciate, especially now, because they know like <laughs> what it's like to have you gone. 18 next month. Oh, Alex, how are you feeling? Kathleen, did I say hi to you today? People snuggles, not pet snuggles. 
<laughs> See, uh, Paul always comes to snuggle with me at nighttime until I fall asleep or if I like need to shift. If I shift, he's like, yeah, no, nah, I'm out of here. But as long as I don't move <laughs> or disturb his sleep, he'll, he'll stay and snuggle with me. Okay, good. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. Let's do some more red down here. We'll do the red red, not the magenta. He graduates high school in June. Oh, no. All right, but is he moving out right away or will he stay at home? Because that's not as bad. Let's go right into that. Oh, I'll have to redo that border with a little bit more blue. Nice thing is, is like I'm hearing the drills and saws and hammering outside, but I'm not seeing it respond on OBS. So I don't think you guys can hear the construction, which is nice. My turning 30 and he's still here. <laughs> well, that's good to know. Little Steve has promised me that whenever he moves out, he will get a house next to mine. So he can come visit sometimes. <laughs> Oh, yes, that's what Paul does. That's what Paul does. He comes in and he snuggles like he's a stuffed animal. It's great. Good, I'm glad. I mean, they're kind of out past, out past the backyard. I'm telling you, they put up these houses so fast. But they are efficient. Okay, so we're using that indigo behind. I do like, though, that we were able to move into a... Uh, a new build. It's like one of all the, the paranoia I have moving into a house like somebody else has lived in. It's just, yeah, quality of everything. And, you know, it just gives me a lot of peace of mind to move into a new build. Patting my leg wanted me to go sit in the recliner, become a cat pillow. Well, they've been lucky. They've been having you as the cat pillow for a while. I just have to give her my chair and then we'll always have the cat cam. The thing of it is though, is even if I were to like dress it up and give her like a special blanket or whatever, uh, she she would not like it. So when she wasn't feeling well, we had to um, sequester her in a, another smaller room um, just cause of what she had going on. And then um, I had put like a few blankets in there, like this furry blanket. I know they like when it's on my bed and she had no interest in it. She's like, yeah, no, nah, I'm mad at you. <laughs> All right, let's do purple for these little starbursts. Hi, Marilyn. I've been out for a year. He's been back now for two. See, but that's not bad. Am I building a house? No, no, uh, I am not. Uh, but there are houses getting built near me. No, we actually haven't purchased or anything um, here yet because we, we didn't know anything about the neighborhood. We didn't know if we'd want to, you know change for school districts or neighborhoods or or whatever else so it's definitely on the list to do at some point but honestly with the way everything is right now and houses and whatnot um i don't have a super strong desire to buy i don't know we'll maybe reevaluate when steve uh completely finishes his phd which he's really close um his advisor actually just sent him back some edits yesterday um, he's really close, so we might get a little bit better idea of where we're going to be at long term, and then it's something we can revisit, save for, or whatever else. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Right, Alex? Yeah, I would be just fine with that. Oh, nice. Oh, and Marilyn, let's see, who, who's on there? There's Audie and Ronnie Blue and Marilyn and Renee and then the anonymous ones. Um, since you're here now, Marilyn, I'll show you. We got the, uh, so the um, charity event Quilt Square is the equivalent of four, uh, four squares. So that'll go down in the side corner, which is cool. It's gonna be kind of just, Oh, I guess I didn't limit it. Yeah, Marilyn. Uh, there you are. Um, it's going to be cool to kind of have that milestone on the quilt when we're all done with it. Because I put 2024 on it too. So it's a, it'll be like a scrapbook of our year. Yes, actually. Yeah, we're going to have, we're going to be within the total solar eclipse. In fact, 
Um, there was something about how they were rearranging the days that the kids have off from school. And one of the days that they had to change and rearrange, uh, they gave it for the sol um, total solar eclipse. So yes, I am in the path of totality. So uh, we have all the glasses and everything. And I think that's happening, what, mon Monday, isn't it? I think it's Monday, I have to double check. But yes, so we are in the uh, path of totality. It's gonna be pretty cool. I don't think possible, like maybe I could take a picture of it through the glasses, but it, yeah, it's gonna be really cool. We had a partial during, was it during the summer? We were at the Renaissance Festival when the last like partial one came through, but yeah, it's gonna be really cool. April 8th around noon. Yeah, that is, yeah, Monday. Yeah, because the kids have a four day, um, oh, that's not this weekend, that's next weekend. Well, anyway, um, yeah, that Monday they have the, the day off from school, so that'll be cool. Yeah, because I don't think I can, what color, what color did I put on here? Purple, okay, good. <laughs> Uh, I don't know that I'll really be able to take a picture of it, but still, it's going to be cool. I don't have the uh, right equipment for that, but not like there won't be any shortage of pictures on the internet, I'm sure, but it'll be a cool experience nonetheless. Oh, she's shifting. <laughs> Rubbing her head on the chair. Oh, kitty. Like I said. Since she has not been feeling well, we have been letting her uh, get away with a lot lately. And does that mean that I let her run me out of my chair? Absolutely. Oh, hello. Are we back to pets? We can do that. We can, we can paint and pet. We can do that. Okay, so let's do some more, some more indigo. Reminds me of like the days when I try to like get stuff done, but then also like rock the kids in their like little seat rockers at the same time. There we go. <laughs> Shifted just a, just a tiny bit. There we go. Okay. Okay. I'll pet you. I'll pet you. <laughs> just burn our edge, but they sold out to us. Aww. We're in the path, but it's within driving distance. However, it's, it's testing that week, so we can't take it. Aww, that's too bad. <laughs> just rubbing her whole face. Hi. You already got my chair. What more do you want? It's a little dark. Oh, nice. But yeah, we, uh, the library, our local library, we finally went and checked that out. They were, uh, they were giving out pairs of the glasses. So we've got all four glasses. You know, right? She's just, she's just doing her own thing. Can you shift a little bit so they can see you? Is that better? There we go. Here we go. <laughs> Hi. Kitty, you're gonna <laughs> roll off the chair. <laughs> she is just all over. The 2017 one, you were in the line, was crazy the number of people watching. Oh, I don't doubt it. Oh, I love that, Della. Yeah, so we weren't exactly sure when she was born. Uh, when we got her, when we got her, uh, Steve and I lived in an apartment at the time and it was raining and we were thinking maybe the neighbors were feeding her or something, but we had had friends over that night and we, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Mother, you've stopped. Um, we had friends over that night and we opened the door to go, you know, tell him goodbye and everything. And it was raining and she was just sitting out there. Now at the time I didn't have the the uh, intelligence to be like, oh, I probably shouldn't bring this cat in my house because I don't know if they've got ringworm or fleas or whatever else. Um, but anyway, I did. And we just let her sort of walk in and then she was like, oh, it's pretty nice. And she never left. I mean, we went and made an effort. Like we checked for uh, a microchip, we put up signs, but no one ever claimed her. But she has just always been the nicest, like softest cat ever. In the 90s, brilliant experience. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm excited. I think it's gonna look really cool. Okay, let's see. Let's get a little bit of this purple. <laughs> Kitty. Oh, goodness, funny girl. Let's do some purple on here. It's not enough purple, we need more. 
But yeah, I think the kids are looking forward to it. It's going to look, look pretty cool. Those younger ones that showed up on her porch during storms. Right now, that's, ex that's exactly what she was. She just showed up and never left. And we weren't mad about it. <laughs> what we call multitasking. We got the pets and the paints. Heard of those paint and sit places now. We're we're painting pet places. Hi Robin, how are you? All right, let's give this a little bit of a dry. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Rescued her from a big boy cat who thought she was a mouse. Her eyes weren't even, oh, baby kitty. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we are right. We are almost not in the path of totality. We are like right on the edge. But still, it's gonna be cool. And it's nice that the kids have it off from school. We can experience it together. Put some chairs out in the backyard. Because it doesn't last very long. It's just as long as it takes for it to move. All right, I think she's been satisfied with her pets for now. She's sleeping again. Okay, uh, let's see. So many cats, so many would just show up. Oh, absolutely. Uh, when we were younger, we had a Siamese cat. We had a raccoon. Uh, <laughs> I say we had a raccoon. It just, it frequented the cats outside cat food. Um, we had just like a regular gray tabby. We had a number of dogs. So I'm just adding in some, some shadow where I can. So we've definitely always been a pets kind of family. Okay, we need more purple on that hand. We need lots more depth here. <laughs> well, like I said, I see we had a raccoon, but it was more so he just frequently... We, we always put additional cat food out from him. And you know, this was this was what, 80s, early 90s. We didn't know any better. We just knew the raccoon liked the cat food. So we would just put out extra for him. We never like touched him or pet him, but he was he was a regular visitor to our back porch. He, he enjoyed the uh, diet of our felines. He's like, hey, that's cool. I get some. <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> Not like a pet raccoon. My goodness, no, that's just asking for rabies. But we definitely did never make any uh, friends with the possums that came by. <laughs> uh, but where we lived, too, we kind of lived out of town for a little bit. Oh, the amount of time. We did, Alex, and I was trying to think. I don't recall what we named it. I want to say it was just like generic, like bandit. We didn't have a whole lot of uh, creativity when it came to naming them. That showed up and within a month she gave birth to a kitten under my bed. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so where we lived, uh, there was definitely a skunk problem. And every now and then we'd get one that would get under the house and it would spray. And it just sucked so much going to school after the skunk sprayed. Because like, despite the showers and everything, when a skunk sprays and they're under your house, the smell just seeps into everything. Everything. It was the worst. <laughs> a little bit. I will say though, I will say that uh, being, I, I follow um, Juniper Fox on uh, on Instagram and she uh, rehabilitates, which is, you know, she takes care of possums that can't be released back into the wild and makes me, makes me look at them a little bit different. Let's see. Uh, we had a pet, let's see. Our cats show up and of course we love them just like the ones we choose to have here. Exactly. Never seen a real raccoon. We don't get animals. But don't you guys get like foxes in your gardens? I will say in the town that we lived previously to here, um, I was out at night and I was in, I was at a park parking lot and I saw, I have a very blurry picture of it somewhere. I saw an albino raccoon. I was like, is that raccoon a blonde? I was just like, what? Because it's not like white, white. It was blonde. It was the craziest thing. Right? Yes, Megan, so bad. Yes, Renee, Nutria, that was the other thing. I don't know if that's just an organ thing, but yeah, uh, Nutrias too. Oof, no way, those things terrify me. Right? Oh, I know, it lasts forever. Um, 
there was, so we were at the kids. Um, I'm just using indigo now in spots to kind of make, make this sort of pop a little bit. Uh, at the kids preschool that they went to, um, I was out, we were in the, we were in the playground and me and some of the other moms were chatting and we started smelling this like kind of sour smell and it just built up and built up and built up because the skunk had sprayed and it took a little while to get over to where we were standing, but we were like, oh God, <laughs> so bad, it was so bad. Tend to see urban foxes very often. Um, I also heard, don't you guys have like uh, wild hedgehogs as well? I want a wild hedgehog or hamsters or something. It's one of the ones that like we domesticate over here, but you guys, um, you guys get them all over the place, don't you? Cat has taken up residence on my front porch. I never saw it before. I brought some food this morning. Probably not a good idea, but I'm a soft, right? Oh, it has a problem with its eyes. If that's visible, it's probably an upper respiratory which is usually fixed pretty quick. The biggest thing that... Okay, we reconnected. Okay, uh, if, if you went circles for a second, go ahead and refresh. Oh, I didn't even think about that, Dominique. Never seen one the first time I came to Oregon to visit and Bob and I went for a walk. It turned in front of us and I was like, that's the biggest rat I've ever seen. Yeah, Nutria. Oh my gosh, you wanna know the biggest rat I've ever seen? Uh, I went to New York um, for a conference when I was in college and I had never, sounds good, Britt. Um, I had never, I, you know, I, I had a pet rat at one point, but I had never seen a New York rat. I'm gonna tell you right now, New York, New York rats are not the same as normal rats. They really, yes, it's the size of a small dog, Nutrias. Oh man, they're gnarly. Um, but if you've ever seen, if you've ever seen like the subway, right? Cause this is where I saw the rat. I don't know, excuse me a little bit. I don't know if you're familiar with how big the tiles are on the floor of a subway. I'm just saying they're at least a foot in diameter. Uh, there was a rat down there and it was the size of the tile. I am not kidding. It was a foot long rat. New York rats are like a breed all their own. Like absolutely. Family red foxes living in my backyard. Oh, F, I love that. Do they really, Vicky? We haven't gone to Galveston. Um, I don't know. A lot of people say that if you're going to go to the beach in Texas, you should hit up Corpus Christi instead. They live <laughs> park pond. Uh, yeah, I was blown away and thoroughly grossed out. Like I had never been and, and yeah. Oh, hello. Did you get back up? Hi. Okay. Are we ready for pets again? Am I being too loud? Am I, am I disturbing your nappies? Hi, what are we, oof, are we coming over here now? All right, but I gave you my chair. I did. Where are you going? What are you doing? I don't think she knows what she wants here. Okay, all right, here, I'm gonna move my legs so that you can sit in my lap if that's what you, oh, cause there's not, there's paint up here, honey. Okay, are you getting down? Oh, okay, she's getting down. Maybe, unless she's going back to the chair. I don't know what it is that oh my gosh it's so zoomed in right now okay i'm just gonna leave it there because there's no way that i can manage resizing that we'll just wait to see if she gets back in the chair uh resizing that for my face cam <laughs> it's not happening okay uh let's see what was i doing i was doing this here but yeah i was like shocked and appalled at uh how big the rats were there it was crazy what's the matter Oh, it's getting to be your lunchtime, huh? Is that why? She also gets food at noon. Ride a capybara, that'd be so cute. I totally would have a capybara. Absolutely. Yeah, I had, I had a, yeah, right? They are very, I know, right? She is currently behind where I'm sitting. Kicks me out of my chair and doesn't even stay. It's rude, kitty. <laughs> So basically I'm just adding the, uh, the color variation on spots now, right? You'd think so. Now she's under the desk rubbing on my legs, but it's because, okay, no, kitty, you're shaking the kid. <laughs> she's rubbing her face on the little tr kitty, kitty. That's the paint cam. We can't mess up all the cams. I'm gonna add some more blue here as well. 
She's like, yeah, you may think that they're your cams. The other thing is I'm terrified. She keeps looking at my legs like she wants to jump. She does. That's right. She does. But I'm wearing leggings and like, it's not going to feel good. What's the matter, sweetie? <laughs> oh my gosh. One zero to my husband. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. Just rubbing on stuff over here, trying to get my attention. She decoyed me though to my chair. She started rubbing on stuff like she wanted something. So I got up and then she bolted for the chair. It's literally like right behind me. There we go. All right, a little bit more. Here, I'm, oh, oh, and she's back. <laughs> and I was about to turn it off. Out of frame, yes, sorry. Sorry, there we go. <laughs> Let's get a little bit more purple here. She's back. And I was about to just turn off that cam altogether. She's like, yeah, no, nah, this is, this is, this is my world. You're just living in it. Uh, sounds good, Josephine. And I'll take a look at your message and get you squared away uh, with your, um, if you want, Josephine. And I'm not sure why it's not redeeming. I don't know if you put it in the message, but just let me know what you want. And I can do a manual redeem uh, for your square so I can um, get working on it. Right? And like I said, I had a pet rat, but I didn't like seek out the pet rat. It was more so um, somebody couldn't keep it anymore. So I rescued it. Um, and I had it for a little while. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for being here. Okay, let's put this here. So we're definitely finishing this nesting doll before we go today. And then I think we'll take a break on the nesting dolls. We may revisit it again. Aw, uh, thanks, Britt. But we'll definitely do something different. Here's my question for you. For those of you that saw the um, download for next month, well, maybe I sh if I'm going to do a color along for that, maybe I should wait and do it when the page is released. Do you guys want to do a color along for the cupcake page? We'll definitely be doing a color along for the mermaid page. Absolutely. Oh. <gasps> Mine too, Brit. Awesome. Maybe 38. Oof. Oof. We're buffering again. Mm -hmm. Try refreshing because it's not showing anything on my end. I don't have any drop frames and OBS did not disconnect. Ooh, Nina paper is great. I love the Nina paper. Month or two for Bonnie. You vote yes for cupcake color along? Okay, sweet. Mm, okay. I was just like, oh no, not the buffering. Okay, let's get a little bit of dark green here. Like I said, I'm just trying to fill in the spots that don't have any variation in color yet. So we're gonna do the green here. Brighter green than the green that's on the main part. What is this, like an apron? I'd probably call it an apron. Yeah, I've been watching uh, Black Aniri and her um, and her videos lately, and her painting is just so inspiring. Like, I would love to be able to do what she does. I know I just need to practice for it, but um, no, because that's kind of what makes it uh, like it's it's supposed to be exclusive for members. But I see how that could be a little excluding. So maybe I'll do a separate video on it. Or I could just add some new pages to my Etsy store. That is also possible. If you wanted to also, you could, you could do like membership for just a month and then cancel it. And that would get you uh, next month's thing. But yeah, it would kind of defeat the purpose. Like I don't do a ton of exclusive stuff. Like I don't ever have like exclusive streams. I try not to, um, you know, like even with the quilt, I try not to make things, you know, unbalanced or, but I think the, the coloring page is really short of that and like the emotes and the pencil, but for the most part, everything I try to keep all inclusive. 
Okay, um, let's see. I'm trying to look to see. Oh, we need to do this one a little bit. Okay. Just going to add this little bit of navy here, and then we're going to smooth out the edges. I'm actually getting hungry. I'm going to need some lunch soon. Do you all ever have problems with Etsy, like missing links or can't see your purchases? Um, not really. I actually just ordered some, um, it was just a digital download of some Lord of the Rings prints that I wanted to get printed out and, and hung up. Um, but he had just included like a link in it. And I don't have, I don't usually have anybody saying that they can't download any of mine, but I mean, it's hard to say. That is true. Yeah, Johanna has a cupcake page on hers as well. It was a rescue. My sister snake didn't want to eat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, thank you, Shannon. I mean, totally it was just the same. Yeah, usually when I purchase, um, I'll purchase on the desktop. But part of that is is because they'll be like, oh, okay, enter your PayPal information. And I never remember my password. So I'm like, hey, I'll just wait till I'm at the desktop. So yeah, I purchased mostly uh, on the desktop. But I, I appreciate the feedback on the paper though, you guys. It, I think it might be something something that I consider is, you know, maybe working up a new, uh, a, a book by itself just to, you know, test, test the waters a little bit, see how we're using a little bit of magenta, see how, you know, what the response is, if it's worth doing it again. <laughs> But I really enjoyed um, making that coloring page this month. So I think it might be fun. She does. Yeah, she has cups, cupcake, cups. Well, she probably has some cups. Cakes, cupcakes, all the good stuff. <laughs> okay, Kelly. I'm going to need to plan out to see exactly what it is I want to do and how long I'm going to give myself to do it. Because I'll need to work on it like around doing everything else, you know, kids stuff and all that, all that good does. But, um, yeah, it's definitely been something I've been mulling over a little bit. I mean, I doubt it's going to hurt to have it out there at the very least. It's, you know, sharing the pictures and passive income. And it is nice because then, um, Amazon does all the printing. Fred is almost 10 and Wilma's about seven. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Let's do a little bit of this red here. I've actually been having kind of like a, not like a full lunch lunch, but I've been doing like, I, I pack a lunch when I go to wait in the car pickup line with the kids. And so I've been doing um, like apple and peanut butter, hummus and pretzels, cheese, turkey, all that jazz. Okay, let's do a little bit of different color here. I feel like this is kind of disappearing. We could do black, but yeah, I kind of want to do a little bit of red. Oh, you know, and I guess this is more of like a darker magenta red than it is a red red. Uh, I've started watching Monk again. We'll see how many episodes I get in before the OCD starts rubbing off on me. Uh, <laughs> but I forgot how much I like Tony Shalhoub. And here's, there's something interesting that I've been doing lately. So there's this thing going around where it says that uh, the next generation, <clears throat> or I guess the one after millennials, like they all look older than they really are. Hi, Endo, welcome. Mm. Yeah, bokeh background. Oh, thanks, Alex. Uh, because, look, there's food. Did you see how fast she got up and ran? They have auto feeders and she just, she just bolted. Um, but watching shows where I know that like, so Sharona obviously is, is Monk's nurse. Now I am, you know, going to be 38 this year. And a lot of these characters are in their 30s. So it gets me thinking like, how, how is my age compared to hers and like how I look and compared to what she looked like then. And so in the first season that came out, it was 2002, 
uh, Sharona was only 34. And I was just like, huh. All right. I think a lot of it has to do with like the, the style of clothes and everything at the time. Getting that red again. I almost grabbed the pink. Uh, let's see. Let's do it here. And here. Yeah, I'm liking using the red as the shadow. We're going back to, it's not even necessarily the complementary colors to the others, but it's giving some depth. Hi, Emily. Sounds good. Sugar gliders worked with an account who had several. Oh yes, they are so cute. So, so cute. The, if I could just have a zoo here, I probably would. Good news is she's eating her kibble. For a while, while she was feeling kind of black, she would only eat um, wet food. Okay, let's see. Let's also add some of it here and here. Okay, I'm gonna add it under her little kerchief. And it's just kind of like a, a magenta red. Ooh, Emily, you're getting up there. We had our first official uh, additions. I took them down, but to, to show you guys, but we had our first official editions of squares. So that's super exciting. Off screen, dang it. Okay, I'm zooming out a little bit, guys, because I'm hopping all over the place. <laughs> Thank you. Because I'm just adding little, little bits now. Now we're going to turn this down. There we go. I keep going like all over the place. There we go. Okay, um, let's see. I want to do something on the green down here. We're going to get more green. Ah, thanks. Steve, thank you, Callie. It's Steve, everyone. Hello, Steve. Okay, just want to add a little bit of variation. Steve, we had a cat cam, and then her food went off. Guess whose chair that is? And guess whose chair I'm sitting in? <laughs> yeah, gosh, Steve, it's like you have to work or something, man. How dare. Much offend. <laughs> Steve, not Steve. <laughs> All right, there's that darker bit. Okay. Let's see, where have I missed? Let's turn it down one more. What else have I missed? Let's do a little bit of that red on that base. <laughs> oh, and she's back. She's had her food and now she's back to claim her throne. Yeah. Did you have a good food? Oh, am I getting a good spot? <laughs> She's got her foot up there. Did I get a good spot, huh? Yeah, we're having painting and pets. Okay, let's see. Looking at it from afar, if I miss anything, let's put some of this red on her gloves. Oh, I'm sorry, I stopped painting. It's like, it's like patting your head and rubbing your tummy, man. It's hard to multitask. But like I said, she's old and she hasn't been feeling well. So she's getting away with a lot. Even if it means I have to sacrifice my seat to her. Uh, we're making strawberry shortcake. What cake do you prefer to use? Um, well, pre, pre, uh, gluten-free. A lot of times I just got those little sponge cups at the store, but also, and I, I don't know if this is like a faux pas, we just liked to use the uh, Bisquick mix for for the shortcake to go with it. I think the recipe of it is on the side of the box. These days though, if I was getting real fancy, uh, Angel Food Cake is really good with it. <gasps> oh, it's good. It's really good. I mean, granted, Angel Food Cake is basically just like eggs and sugar, but. Okay, so the only thing that I'm not totally thrilled with is up by her face. I feel like I wanna add a bit more shadow to her face, even though I remember it's supposed to be flat painted. But also I might use, so I got these Faber-Castell um, 
uh, pit artist pens. I got these on clearance at Hobby Lobby actually. So we may use it to outline this a little bit if I can't get it as dark as I want it to be. So let's try and do um, a little bit of skin. I don't know if you can see, but in this little spot here, this was left over from the skin that we did. Um, but we're going to, we're going to touch it up a little bit. So we're going to have some red, some red in here. We're going to get some yellow. I can hear the other cats outside the office and it's because they know her food went off and they want to eat it. And then what did we do before? We added some purple to it to kind of balance it out. And we're going to thin it out a little bit. I do want it to be darker than what the face was initially. Pound cake. Oh, it would probably soak in really nice with pound cake. Does biscuit make with sugar? Yeah. There we go. We're going to do just a little bit darker here. My instinct was to go define her nose, but it's a flat paint. Flat paint. I can remember that. Because the big deal was, is we didn't have any white to change this with. Hang on. I'm going to go let the other cats in before they uh, destroy, destroy the door. Sorry. I won't. You're all good. Oh, no, wait. That's two. Because <laughs> I haven't uh, changed the other cans. We'll leave it for that one. There you go. All right. You entertain the mask. Can I help you, sir? Walking in like he owns the place. I'm not moving you. <laughs> she does this like annoyed trail if she thinks I'm going to move her. Like I'm not, I swear. It's all good. Yeah, now I want strawberry shortcake. I could probably make some gluten-free biscuits. Ah, dang, I'm gonna go to the store today and get stuff for strawberry shortcake. Cause that sounds delicious. Hey, hey Steve, on the way home today, can we stop by the store? Uh, okay, so let's see. Let's get a little bit more of that. Let's see, let's put some on this side. I'm trying to remember. She's a wood painted doll. She's not going to have defined features. Even though I want her to. Well, you know what we could do though? We could give her just a little bit of. Is it Paul? Yeah. Uh, do you want strawberry shortcake? Ooh, we could do strawberry shortcake tomorrow. Put just a little bit of pink, but I'm gonna smooth it out one second. She looks a little, a little lopsided. There we go. Just a, just a little bit. Okay, let's see if we can fix this black. Uh, yes and yes. <laughs> we'll get enough to like just eat shortcake for the entire week. All right, so I want to get a lot of black here. Okay, let's see if that stands out enough. Like I said, my goal was not to use anything other than the watercolor. But the black that I put previously just was not dark enough. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why I meant today or tomorrow, or I just make a ton of it, and the kids and I have it tonight, and then and then we have it again tomorrow. <laughs> Me too. Oh, Watergate salad. Isn't that the one with, like, coconut? Or no, I'm thinking ambrosia salad. I feel like I know what Watergate salad is, though. Remind me. Lots of cooking shows saw a lady have the strawberries sort of cook them instead of just letting them get juicy. What? I mean, I suppose that's the way to do it if you want to get fancy. But no, you just take the strawberries, put in a bunch of sugar, and let them sit in the fridge. Oh, that was not a straight line. All right. Well, those of you that do not have my hands, do you could do a better straight line. <laughs> Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so we do something a little bit different, or at least in, in my family we do. We just called it green stuff and we would make it during the holidays. Um, but it would be uh, crushed pineapple, crushed pineapple, lime jello, cottage cheese, Cool Whip. 
that everything? Lime jello, cool whip, cottage cheese, crushed pineapple. Yeah, I think that's everything. Oh, mini marshmallows. Oh, see, that sounds good too. Fruit cocktail. See, that does kind of sound like ambrosia salad, except just no coconut. Dang it, now I want stuff. Actually, we couldn't really do that because little Steve can't do, um, can't do food dye. That isn't me just being like all crunchy coconut mom or whatever. He literally has like an allergic reaction to it. So we cannot do food dye, but be surprised how many ways you can get around some of that. Needless to say, we haven't done jello in a while. Okay, let's darken up this purple just a bit. Now I'm just kind of like looking at it as a whole and going around and just sort of changing spots that I want to change. Ooh, nuts, okay. Yeah, I would think so, absolutely. Yo, I'm just smoothing out that paint because I did get a little bit of purple paint on your face, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, well, maybe if I, yeah, that lifted a little bit of it. I just wanted to be careful not to smear that around on her face. There we go, I like that better. Yeah, nuts, that's interesting. I haven't done nuts in it before. Like walnuts or what kind of preferred nuts? See, she's had her snack, now she's going for her nap. She's getting back into her uh, retirement life schedule. Eat, sleep, repeat. That's what it is. <laughs> there you go. I did make uh, chocolate chip cookies this week. Kids brought them to school, I really liked them. Uh, little Emily was sharing them with her friends. They're like, oh, we want the recipe. But I was like, it's really just the recipe on the back of the Nestle Toll House. And I just substitute uh, regular flour for um, gluten-free flour. And I add a little bit of cinnamon to mine. Um, let's see, oh, hi, Annie, you're in here too. Cat party. I'm gonna get some of this red. It's definitely more like a, like a brick kind of red. Annie's under the desk currently. So I wanna... Add some darkness under that. Ooh, fancy almonds, like it. See, we're just, we're a wonderful group of enablers. If we're not enabling pencil purchases, we are definitely enabling dessert choices. Dessert choices are the best choices. <laughs> Pets were being handed out. Yeah, at this point, they're just like, ready for their on-screen debut. Isis is apparently now a cat cam cat. But she just sleeps. <laughs> oh, do you have that thing, Della, where you can't um, have the seeds? I know that's, I can't remember the name of it, but it's a thing where you can't eat the seeds. There we go. All right, she's coming along. <laughs> right? I probably should be doing that, but I'm just uh, I'm accepting things the way they are at this point. Um, let's see. Let's do just a little bit more. I spend too much energy thinking about how unhappy I am with the number on the scale. I'm going to tell you right now, the scale needs a new battery. I refuse to replace it. I'm not even looking at it anymore. <laughs> Let's see. There was something else I wanted to do. What was it? Is that it? Let me see. <laughs> well, and to be fair, Renee, your diet is already so restricted. It's unfair for you have to restrict it any more than you have to. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, that scale. Yes, exactly. Well, did I miss anything obvious? You can imagine how much longer this whole page would take us. Maybe we could add just a little bit of the like, mm, kind of red down at the bottom here. Are we still in frame? Yes. Just, oh, that's a lot of red. Blend that out just a little bit. There we go. She is so sleepy. She had her lunch, now she's sleeping.
There we go. Um, ah, thanks, Linda. What do we think? Did I miss anything obvious? Oh, I didn't add a little bit. I know we kind of hopped around, but I want to make sure that I'm not missing. Where did I go? Oh yeah, I wanted to do it here. Nope, that's the wrong brush. I'm debating about um, looking into quality watercolor brushes, or at least like just mark them and put them on like my, my personal wish list or something. But like, it seems like a lot of the really high quality ones are animal hair ones. And I don't know that I can in good conscience put those, but I've uh, sent a message to uh, Arena to ask her what her favorite brushes are. She just makes such beautiful watercolor pages. It's amazing. <laughs> you should, that's one of the reasons I like this one because it was so simple in comparison to a lot of his other, a lot of his other pages. Because it can just be so complicated. Looks like I add a little bit more blue to that one than I did that one. Let's touch it up with just a tad more blue. I'm just kind of like adding finishing touches. Oh, Annie heard a dog, a dog bark outside. She's very intrigued and very concerned. Oh, she is now in the windowsill. Hi, Annie. Oh, are we coming up here? You guys are very attention needy today. You're not going to like it when I turn on the heat gun. Okay, as long as you don't get in the way, we're going to be all good. Who does beautiful? Um, So it is uh, Black Aniri is her name. So it's Black underscore Aniri. Um, and it's Irena backwards. I think I have a link for her on my recommendations page as well. She has a few YouTube videos. She mostly does um, uh, 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 Instagram though. I think she does TikTok as well, but she's absolutely wonderful. She's done some Johanna Basford pages too. So she does coloring, but she also does um, some of her own illustrations. Ooh, Vicky, you're getting close. I think that's dry, but we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Uh, thank you, Shannon. Okay, I'm gonna put my headphones down real quick and I'm going to get a sheet of paper out of the printer. Two, actually. Come on, just regular old uh, computer paper. Okay, hang tight. And I'm going to grab the iron, hang on. I just used it yesterday to do the uh, the iron on for the quilt squares. Okay, we're gonna get our iron. Oof. Okay, and we are going to plug it in. Oh, you can see me leaning over under my desk. The plugs are under the desk. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Ugh. Okay, so that's gonna heat up for a second. Okay. Then, <laughs> oh, I'm not that fancy. I have been eyeballing those Cricut irons though. They sure do look nice. But no, we're just, we're using our regular iron. Okay, so, ooh, awesome. But yeah, she is completely brilliant. Her work is just gorgeous. All right, so what are we doing? Kitty is so tired. Well, she didn't sleep for like a day and a half, not her normal naps. Okay, so if you can see, you see that the page is kind of crimped. This is not watercolor paper that we painted on. And I learned this trick from Barbara. I don't know why I never thought of it, um, but you see how it's kind of crimped and curly. It would make it very hard to color anything on this opposite page. However, some of that red did bleed through. I probably won't color this anyway, but this is an example if you wanted to, uh, if you wanted to color on the other page. So we're gonna put a sheet of paper behind. Gonna put it on top. I need to change the dial because it's currently set to like cotton. So let's put it at like two. It's pretty warm already. And we are going to iron our page. Now, one of the other things you wanna um, double check, make sure that you're already completely dry because if you try to flatten this, then it may crease in some spots. 
um, which could make it look a little rough. Not that it really comes out in pictures anyway, but if you're not wanting to accidentally crease your paper, uh, definitely make sure it's completely dry first, okay? So then what we're gonna do, I'm not just gonna like leave it sitting here. Some adhesive on there from something, anyway. Okay, so I'm just gonna be moving, 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 and I'm gonna check. Mm, not quite there yet. I think it got a little bit hot there for a second. Ooh, 2,190, 2, nice. I'm go a little bit slower. But I also don't want to set it on fire. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's really hot right now. But the the like the page itself is still curled just a little bit, but the illustration itself is much more smooth. But I don't know. What do you say? Do we call do we call that nesting doll done? I think we're about ready. Sounds good, Vicky. Thanks for being here. I think we're about ready to uh Take a break from the nesting dolls for a bit. What do we think? Hang on, I'm gonna reach down here and unplug the iron because I will inevitably forget it. Uh, I grounded myself from my hot glue gun the other day because I left to go do somewhere and I might have left my uh, hot glue gun plugged in and I left the house with it plugged in. I tattled on myself to Steve because I needed him to keep me accountable. And uh, yeah, I, I grounded myself from being able to use my hot glue gun. <laughs> hey, Durbin. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. We'll do another, we'll do another one. Or maybe like I can do one like as a video or something, but that took a surprisingly long amount of time. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't wanna do the next four nesting dolls for, you know, the next six months. So. But yeah, she's cute. We gotta figure out what we're gonna do next. Which book is this? Uh, no, this book is uh, Worlds Within Worlds. This is uh, Kirby Roseanne. Roseanne's, Rosanis, Rosanese's. God forbid I ever meet him. He's gonna hate the way I pr <laughs> pronounce it. Yeah, so I'll have to do a flip through uh, of my other books, but that's it for that page. You guys wanna do, uh, I'm pretty hungry. So we'll just do one where it's on stream. Let's see what it is. Let me get over to games. It does. Okay. All right, Kitty, I'm going to move you backwards just a little bit so I can actually sit up next to the computer. Okay, you go there. She's getting so much cat hair on my chair. Okay. Bye, Britt. Thanks for being here. Yeah, definitely similar. And I think it's because it's like simpler illustrations for sure. Yep, words. Okay, sounds good. Let's do words. Okay, and we're gonna get our link. I don't know. I think, um, oh, who was it that did, um, oh, I can't think of it. There's another, there's another illustrator that has stuff that's similar to that. All right, so let's get our link over here. sure we got the sound in. Bye, Carol. Thanks for being here. Bye, Chris. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit okay. We're going to pause the music. Turn that up so you don't hear it. Okay. Is everybody ready? Got your typing fingers ready? Okay. Ooh. Well, the X is actually used in this one. Hmm. Let's see, where is, there we go. Oh, latex, oh, exactly, nice, ooh, 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 exact, ha <laughs> piggyback. <laughs> um, <clears throat> let's see. Um, 
Mm. Oh, Exalt. Sorry, I put a cough drop in, too. Throat was getting just a touch scratchy. Uh, let's see. It'll be another... Another A word. What about... Um, Mm. ED. <laughs> oh, wait, that did not even go through. I didn't even type it. Okay, there we go. Uh, oh, I don't even know what that one is. Axel, okay. Axel and Axel. Uh, A Z. A lit. <laughs> Addle. <all. laughs> Just trying out different ones. It's all cool. Uh, let's see. We have one more six letter word. And let's see. I wonder if latexy is a word. Oh, shh, would not have gotten that. I wonder what that last one is. Either way, we made it, so well done. Mm, I'm out of water. Um, what's that last one? Ah, there we go. <clears throat> I have no idea what it is, but it works. All right, on we go. Sue, number one. Very well done. Uh, let's see. Uh, is it cat? No. Cattail. Oh, I wouldn't have even thought of that. What's the other? Or the other C? Cattail. Cattail. Tactical. Oh gosh. Yeah, I was not. Okay, so um, what about tact? <laughs> I got tact. Ah, Shannon, you beat me. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, cacti. That's a good one. Oh, what about tacit? Like taciturn. Yay! I got one. <laughs> I was proud of myself when I get one that isn't a piggyback. Oh, lactic. That's a good one. Attic. Um, act, act. Maybe? Act, let. All cat. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's so much cat hair on my chair right now, guys. She, she releases it constantly. <laughs> a tilt. Huh. Let's see. A till. Love the hun. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, what about calc? Hmm. About kale. Because it could start with a C. Kate. C A T T. C I T T. Uh, a C T A. Oh, that's a word! <laughs> I'm just trying different combinations now in the hopes that something will be right. Natalie, number one in bulk. Well done. Um, okay. I'm gonna go with cin cinema. Not cinema. C I cinema. Huh. Okay, well. Okay, it might be the M. Yep, okay. Vaccine. I was wondering, I was like, yeah, it might be the M. Might be the, might be the M. Okay, so it's a fake M. So let's do. Oh, what about acne? Did we go? Oh, no, we got acne. Naive. Oh, what about um naive? No, that's not right. I spelled that wrong. But Natalie didn't, so that works. <laughs> uh, okay, we have another one that starts with the letter C, starts with the letter N, and starts with the letter V. Um, what about V-E-N-A? V-E-C-A? Um, okay, what about Cane Kind? Kai? Oh, I don't know that one. Vein? Okay, now the last one's gonna start with an N, so N-A-M-E. Oh! Oh, no, wait, no, no M. I was like, wait a minute, like, that's too easy. Um, uh, what, N-A-C-E, um, N-A-V-E, N-I-V-E, um, 
And Nevi. Not a clue what that one is. Well done, Natalie. All right, onward we go. Uh, I see should. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't load on your screen yet. That wasn't very fair, I apologize. But it is a fake E. A fake E. Um, there's shod. Holds, yep. So, let's see, soul. Hold singular. Uh, S-H-O-D, shod. Uh, let's see, so no E. Let's see, we got lush and sold. Um... We get loud. I'm still locked out, but loud, that's one. There we go, making that loud. Um, what about, let's see. Uh, dash, lush. Hmm, I feel like I'm in a Dr. Seuss books. Holes, oh, how interesting. Okay, um, could be, what about douse? I feel like that has an E at the end. Yeah, that's not right. Oh, duos! There you go, I was close! Uh, one more H-O-U-S? No, it would be U, because it would go above hold. So what about, um... Oh, what about, uh... Oh no, no E, no E. Odds? Odds a word? It is a word! No idea what it means! <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna have to flip through my books and see what we do next. Continue. Natalie, well done. Number one overall. Um, try user. The two G's are probably fine. User wasn't in there. Okay. Um, okay, what about jugs? Rugs, joust. Juggler. Okay, it's a fake S with a hidden L. Fake S, hidden L. So, let's see. What about uh, rule? Yeah, fake S, hidden L. Um, oh, what about uh, glug? G-L-U-G. Lugger, there you go. Um... Oh, gurgle. Did we? Yeah, okay, we got gurgle. Um, let's see. Hmm, do we get, um, oh, uh, so am I still locked out? I was gonna do, uh, lures. No, it's fake. Mm. It's fake S. Don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Lures, <laughs> lure singular. No, <laughs> Shannon got my singular. Uh, let's see. Oh, urge. Okay, so the next one's gonna be like a G or an L. What about Gurg? Oh yeah, Megan, Megan was guessing Gurg too. One who gurgles. A Gurg. Um, Gru! Isn't that the name of the villain on Minions? Or maybe it's spelled without the E. Sue and Natalie, neck and neck, well done! Um... Try ether or sleet. Nothing smaller than five letters. Sleet. Okay, sleet is good. So we need to clear the H and the R. So what about uh, letters? Okay, it's a fake H. A fake H. Letters, letter. Um, uh, uh, uh. We do street. There we go. Street. Um, gosh, there are four of the seven letter words. So if it's letters, it is a hidden T. Hidden T. Fake H. Hidden T. Terse. Oh, that one's good. Um, what about uh, relet? I feel like that's not quite right. Oh wait, I've still locked up. Relet. No, okay. Um Settler. Okay. Um what about Steadler. 
Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. We got Setter, Settle, Trestle. Oh, that one's a good one. I wonder what that last seven letter is. Mm. Get reset. Yeah, we got reset. Um, steer? Did we get steer? Oh, we got steer. Leers. Um, hmm. Gosh, I don't know what those last ones are. Well done, guys. Oops, sorry, I shouldn't be popping my knuckles. A resettle. Oh, but that has the three E's. That was a good guess, though. All right, skip two levels. Level 18, Annette and Natalie. Well done. All right, there's a Q. So unless that hidden one is a U, let's see, what could that be? Could be an I-N-G. Uh, let's do Paley Plane. Plane, plane. Oh, there it is. Okay. Gainly, Paley. So fake Q and a hidden Y. Fake Q, hidden Y. Okay, what about. Mm, lane, yep. Uh, let's see. Pain, yep. Mm, Lying. Oh, that one's good. Hmm. Hmm. What about... Oh, did we get a line? Or what did we say was fake? Oh, no, that one was good. Okay, sweet. Hmm. See. Pain painy? <laughs> oh, inlay. Nice, Natalie. Hmm. Line, yeah. Hmm. I think there's another A one. Hmm. We already got plain. That was hard. Oh, lapping. Nice. Aping. <laughs> I like it. Should, should have been a selected one. All right. Skip two levels. Ooh, Natalie and Sue. Number one and number two. Nice. Okay. Uh, potentially for a ING. Let's do bean because we know the E is going to be fine. Not bean. Okay. What about... Um, Eating. Okay, eating is good, which means that it's probably a fake B. Probably a fake B, because we know the ING is fine, the T is fine, and the E is a double letter, and the A went through. So I'm going to say it is a fake B, although I really wanted to do beignet. Uh, F says eaten. Okay, so we have eating. Um, what about... Uh, eating, but we need one more. No, we need two more letters to that. Oh, Sue! Negative! Nice, Sue! Okay, so it's definitely a fake B, and it is a hidden mega, hidden V. Okay, so fake B, hidden V. Um, what about... Um... Uh, Annette says vegan, Elise says event, and hi Elise, uh, Sue says vintage, Megan says naive, Ooh, you guys are good, um, what about, oh, event, did we do event already? Oh yeah, Elise got a, yeah, got event, I just said it, yes, yeah, the issue is I like read it out loud and then the word gets stuck in my head, given, nice, um, let's see, uh, let's see. Now that we can see it. Oh no, we're not there yet. N negate. Yes. Uh. Um. Um. I'm gonna do agave, but that's that's not good. The Venetian. 
No, too many ends. Oh, oh, that was hard, man. When the answers are hidden, it starts to get really difficult. Like really, really difficult. All right, there we go. Oh, look, you can see just the desk by itself. <laughs> All right, hang on. Let's close, close the weirds. Here it is. Back down. Well done, everyone. Here, let's hop over to here. All right. Well, I think that's about everything for today. Got water over here. Um, we finally finished our little singular nesting doll. I know, right? It's super hard. Um, our little singular nesting doll. We may re revisit this page uh, at another time, but we'll definitely be doing, oh, thank you. We'll definitely be doing um, something different for our next one. I don't know what yet. I'll look through the books, see, see what piques my interest. But um, yeah, so I will take a look at those that have redeemed or sent me messages um, and we'll we'll go from there. All right, everyone. Um, like I said, if you want any more updates on charity stuff, I usually put it in the community tab. We're at the point where there's a big event going on in the village right now. And a lot of people, a lot of, you know, like, you know how spring break happens and everybody floods there? That's what's going on there. So it's not exactly super safe to go around and do um, all the shopping. So we're waiting until um, until that's all gone and over with. So our goal is to uh, get everything to the ladies by mid-April. The books and the coloring supplies have been ordered. So just keep an eye. I'll keep you guys all posted. I should have some pictures to set, to share uh, by then. So I'm excited to keep you all posted with that and see it all, all wrap up. But um, yeah, have a great rest of your day and I will see you Friday evening. All right. Thank you everyone for being here. Uh, and thank you, Kara, for the super chat and the, um, the new member that we had. So, all right, I'm going to head out. Everyone have a lovely day and I will chat with you all on Friday. All right. Bye.